every one of the top 40 records being played on every radio station in the United States is a communication to the children to take a trip, to cop out, to groove. This is This is a special Welcome to another edition of the Adam Dunn Show. I'm your host, Adam Dunn. I'm Dave Charnick. And we're back. In the studio. Oh my gosh. It's been totally redesigned and everything. Oh, it's, it's made some major, major. We have major improvements. New sound equipment. Everything's, everything's new. Acoustified. Yeah, all the walls are yep. re, 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 re Total new HVAC system running at full capacity right now. This is this is the greatest. That's what happens when you go away for a couple of weeks. You go away, you come back, it's a whole new world. It's all fixed. Oh. All fixed. Oh. 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 It does feel good to be home, though, I have to say. It does. It's one of those things where you, once you're gone a couple of weeks... You're longing, longing to be home, especially with my plants. That was the hardest part. That's this hard- is from Tops, by the way. We'll put these out there, Candy. <laughs> Those are all Tops. Yeah, Those this is tops. his new. Uh, did, did, can they get this off the website? Yeah, I is think that's a yes. He's, a yes. he's, yeah, I think that's a yes in the way the kids talk these days. That's a yes. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it's been it's been interesting getting back into the groove. I've been just grinding away for the last week on uh, trying to organize all my shit. But it is uh, coming. It's we're literally at the cusp of the fucking chaos because next week <laughs> we're already into. This is the last. It's April. This is the last one. Isn't ah! it? This is our last March show. Yeah, it is. In like a lion out like a lamb. It definitely happened too, right? Look at this fucking month. I mean it. Picture perfect example of that, right? We started off the, with craziness, and now it's beautiful again. So it's, it looks like it's going to be. Did I still have my 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 sheen from Barcelona? It hasn't faded yet. Look at this tan sheen alone. Whatever. I think it's going to rain. It, it rained in Boulder before I left, so maybe it'll blow out here and it'll rain here. Whirlwind tour, Spanibus, Amsterdam, the whole nine yards. It was all good fun. Yeah, I didn't hear about. So tell tell us all about Amsterdam. What was the highlight of Amsterdam? <clears throat> I mean, getting the fuck out of there, pretty much. I was super happy. Really? Like, I'm out of here. I'm out of this place. No, it was fun. I mean, the thing is, for me, it's like uh, obviously lots of memories. Running into people. What I liked was that I just ran into random people on the street, which was cool. I was like, this doesn't happen back in Denver. You don't run into random people on the street, right? Yeah, but so, did people recognize you without the beard? Oh, for sure. Because okay. no, most people there don't know me with the beard. That's the funny thing. Uh-huh. It's like when I left Amsterdam, I was just kind of like starting to rock that whole look. It was only the last maybe year I was there, a year and a half or maybe two. But for the most part, yeah, I was, you know, they know me. They oh, know the real me. But I went and saw like the guys at the Katsu, which was awesome. And I got Al, to, shout out to uh, Al. Of course, Al. And I got to see, you know, got to see all the old, old folk. That was great. Everybody was doing pretty good i mean again like it's weird about amsterdam pickles people you know it's like you you can see the difference where you're like wow you can you actually look pretty good it's like oh yeah you have no sun i forgot when you said pickle remind me later i don't want to derail the conversation right now to tell you about the pickle story from last night okay well that sounds exciting i'm (laughs) glad you've brought it up and now everyone wants to know about your pickle story Um, is it is it for the people or so no yes i I wouldn't have brought it up right now just tell it who the fuck you're gonna forget so so um shout out to bob Ishino, Ishino. Does anybody know how to pronounce his last name correctly? Mm, I would say Ishino. Do you? Ishino, Ishino. Machino. I, I mean, he might be listening because I told him I was going to talk about him tonight. Uh, he's definitely and not And he listening. totally turned down coming on the show because he had other reasons. Um, but we have this. I mean, the connectivity of everybody with Bob and with Incredibles and and D Money and Terpy. It. it, it Every, it's like this big incestuous relationship. Anyway, he invited me to the game because the Rangers were playing the Avalanche, and oh. they were. I just have to say, you have a Ranger. You have a Ranger. I do, but I didn't wear it. What? Because, no, come on. He, I, he he's a season ticket holder sitting down. You got to be the sh- ten smudgeon. rows off. The you glass. are the curmudgeon of all curmudgeons. You should have been right there with your fucking thing on, being a dick. I. <laughs> you're very close okay. to how I almost behaved. Right. Um. 
I no, I wore the show shirt because we were behind the goal. I was hoping I would be on camera with, with a goal. Did you do one of those? Uh, well, we did. We took a photo, but um, I only gave out one really loud "Let's Go Rangers," <laughs> but it was in the hall walking, and guy, and he looked at me and he said you are not doing that again. I'm like, what do you mean? This is on the I, way in? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we hadn't okay. sat down yet. I'm like, I was planning on heckling every avalanche. He's like, no, you will not say a thing. You will not embarrass me. And he's got on like... Was he wearing the, face paint? Oh, no, but he... <laughs> close. He was, he, was, he was one notch away from face paint. The jersey he had on was one of those like hodgepodge of almost every logo oh. the avalanche have ever had oh, that's you know so that, they're all not the, even that's already you like know, from different faux eras faux and i'm and not even a sports guy it and hasn't I know been you don't that do long that. Though. you don't worry I, I understand the they were the quebec nordiques right that was the original team um and it says mckinnon on it and everyone's wearing this mckinnon and i just being the ass that I am, I kept asking people, is that Kate McKinnon from Saturday Night Live? Whoa, Did, you know, dude. and I thought it was like almost fighting yeah, words. that's not going to get you anywhere. Yeah, dude, that's like the Jokic <laughs> of the fucking... Dude, Avalanche, you're lucky you didn't bro. get slapped. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, wait, he's, he's actually a... Uh, he's got stick? Yeah, McKinnon and Forsberg are like... Forsberg? Well, that's old school. But yeah. yeah. But like, yeah. Oh, that's another story. I actually had a drink with Pete Forsberg at a bar one night. I went to a bar. I mean, I know oh, Tops is like going to fall out of his chair. This is all I, sounding really interesting already. Um, but so we're at the game. I don't. I, wait, do you, have you guys anybody gone to vape, an avalanche is there anybody game? Anybody vaping or anything? Okay. No, 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 no. Come I, on. You have to walk through metal detector. Although I could have got it in with it because my well, belt didn't even go off. The, 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 You're allowed to have one. You just well, can't. Smoke well, yeah, it. you can have them. But Ball Arena went smokeless completely, so you can't even go at halftime to go smoke. Because I used to bring a blunt to go smoke at halftime at the Nuggets games, but. They stopped letting you go smoke outside at halftime. So there's no reentry. There's, there's no reentry. Yeah, you, there's no smoking section. There's no smoking. Yeah. There's no going outside. I, I was Bob's guest, in. so I did not want to misbehave. <laughs> so I left it in the car. In fact, I cashed it while I was standing there waiting for him. That's rough, right there. A whole event with a, it's like sitting around that you're not really that even into. Oh, but I ate. I was into it. The oh. Rangers were playing, oh, man. Okay. I the Rangers, yeah. And I was out of the house. I was out of the house, like here in Colorado. Like I was, I was doing something with like other adults, people. Right? Yes, you call them people. Thank you, Tops. Um, Good and job. I'm impressed. I, but I was unimpressed. Yeah. unimpressed and Bob and I disagreed because he kept saying well it's just a lackluster game I'm like I don't care that it's a lackluster game that's when fans of the home team have to be the seventh man on the ice okay that's when they have to change the game get so loud that the Rangers didn't know what they were doing I happen. shit you not as quiet as a mouse Shesterkin the Rangers goalie doing his stretches I'm pretty sure I heard him fart. Okay, that's how quiet it was in the whole arena. Jesus. It was, I could have had a conversation the, with somebody up in the, the press box. Stretching of the leather. Yes, Here. you heard the cracking of his knees when he, you know, he did before, you know, yeah. you heard that. They, the Avalanche fans didn't say anything. I even it's said not, to Bob, do you want me to get them going? I'll do the Avalanche, let's go Avalanche, but I'm going to follow it up with a let's go Rangers. He's like, no. I'm like, but why? I mean, you want that back and forth? I'm, I'm looking around. Half of the arena were all in Rangers jerseys. You know? Well, that's and, what happens on like. But you can still like, stand up. You can still cheer. No. Heckle the shit out of them. Start the Potvin Sucks chant. Go Raiders. Something. Yeah. You know? When I was like 15, oh. I would do that. Now I don't care. I just go. I watch the damn game. You know, this is a mean? guy who painted his face. We know that for a fact. <laughs> so we're talking about paint facing guys. Wait, you say I painted my? Oh, him. him. Yes, he, he of has course he painted does. his face. Yeah, no, no, he painted no, his. I've belly. never painted my what? face, dude. Yes, I thought I saw have. a picture I've of never you. Painted I swear my, to God, I never have painted my face in you my life. You jersey wearing motherfucker. I'll, 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 right. I'll wear a jersey. Mark, oh, Mark, you understand the internet doesn't forget anything. We're gonna find a picture on the internet. The funny part is that Dave's pretending like he did face painting. No, I did, never painted my face. <gasps> I, I would have admitted it if I did. Oh, I you Somehow I've seen all of you with face Look at Tops in my mind. pocketing some Terp wipes right there. Know, did you see that? He did yeah. a move. Look, he did a move. He, did a he didn't even try to hide it. He was like, whoa. Because like, he, he noticed there were four and there's only three of you. Yeah. So he probably figured there'd be one extra box that he'll that, take. That's how he plays. But back to my story. <laughs> Busted. They sit there. They don't say a fucking word. They don't cheer. And I'm... I'm having a conversation with Bob and I'm realizing there are people sections away looking over 
you know, listening to what we're talking about. And I'm like, it's not my fault that we're in, we're in, I, I called it Pepsi Center by mistake. And like, it's Paul Arena. I'm yeah. like, it's uh, the sack. It's yeah. the it's sack. Like, it's yeah. the sack. We're heading down to the sack to watch the game tonight. Yeah, ball. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I should I would have, I would have used that had you told me ahead of time. Why didn't you tell me that when I told well, you I was I there? Don't really talk to you outside of the show. Much. I texted you and you went that sick. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So it's the same as it's the same ball it's the same ball family with ball jars though, right? Yeah. Yep. So why are they not fucking leaning into that? The ball jars, dude. That would be cool because it's be glass leaning. and you can throw. Everyone it should have one and they should athletes. throw it at the fucking thing. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Throw your jars, I everybody. Think. That's right. You come. <laughs> everyone jars. comes. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Yeah, was everyone that? gets a jar. That would be. That's perfect. why they no, no, don't, don't have they don't. dollar hot neck. Yeah. Well, dollar the South Park guys that did the. Basketball. Yeah. Well, the, what a thing to happen on dozen egg nights. <laughs> they start getting. Anyway, so back to my story. Oh boy. Oh, oh. Bob, Bob says, Part three are we "Have you now? ever had a pickle dog?" Oh, we're back to pickles. I knew this was. This I, is, I was. I'm coming wow, back to wow. see. See, this is like a whole. It's like a vegan hot dog, but it's just a pickle, right? No. Oh. Fucking. They suited. took. A, they take an extra large pickle. Uh-huh. Okay, you can oh, isolate that whoa, one, Vinny. Whoa, whoa. They take an extra large pickle, they hollow it out, uh-huh. they put a hot dog in it. Uh-huh. For Adam, <laughs> for you, buddy, a hot dog full of lips and ass. Then they put it in corn dog batter and they deep fry it. Whoa. It was the greatest thing I'd ever <laughs> yeah, eaten in my was, life. That sounds amazing. Had he not, had the period not started, I could have crushed three of them. Wow. It was, and I felt horrible oh, taking right. every bite. Yeah. I'm like, this is the grossest thing ever. And not only did I crush it, I took the stick out. I just pulled the stick out and was eating it like I was a fucking cro magnet. How's, how's that, like this? Did you, did, you, did you have two of them at the same time? One of those? You were doing one of those maneuvers? Okay, Trump. You could have double fisted it. Double, it double donged it. Oh. You should have. It was, it was the, uh, a, wow. the greatest three and a half minutes of eating. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you woofed that shit down. Oh. Well, you sold me on it. Sure, you it sure was, it was three and a half minutes? You, it, and, they, and from what Bob tells me, they only have it at one of the concession stands. Wow, and he sat right next to him. He's, it's right, he's right there. He's, oh, he's had the three in the last week. I'm like, you're dead. I mean, oh. I just, there's no way you're surviving March. Wow. Okay, I'm telling you, if you had three of these. Did you get this, sleepy? Did you get sleepy? Yeah. The no, no I was like actually excited. Like, I'm like, th- why won't you guys cheer for the game? So now it's the third period. It's two. It, it winds up being 2-2. They go to overtime. Uh-huh. I, I guess I haven't watched a hockey game in a long time. They play three on three now. Yeah, it's a sh- like a shootout type of thing, sort of. And and they played five minutes. Nothing happened. It was basically keep away, like if you were kids yep. on a on a big open rink and you didn't want your little brother to get the puck and you just skate away from him for five minutes. That sounds really exciting. It, it was boring, <laughs> right? And but this was the time that the Avs fans was could have dun, gotten up. Dun, 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 something dun, the whole time. And nothing? Nope, nothing. No music. No nothing. Something, 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 I am, usually overplay music something, really loud. Oh, so you can't hear anything. I don't else. know. I don't remember. That. Adam, I am not shitting you. I could have had a conversation with somebody in the press box all the way up top, and they would have heard me clearly. Hmm. That's sounds that, weird. I, and that was it. And then because I hear opposite, I hear opposite complaints from other people. Like, dude, you can't hear nothing. It's just guys DJing and doing stupid shit. Yeah, and, the Nuggets games, it's like there's a DJ and like they and have they, the drum line. And and they won't. Like, oh no, no, there's never a second of quietness. Like, right? It's just yeah. like. Whoa. Yeah, they do that when there's nothing going on because they're embarrassed. They can't do it while the game is going on. You can't play a sound while the game is going on. But as soon as the game stops, Uh, then they play their shit because nobody's saying anything. So that's testament to the fact that there's actual Uh, action in those games compared to the other games. Anyway, Pickle Dog at... Pickle corn dog or whatever they're calling wow, it dude. at Pepsi Ball <laughs> Sack Arena. Wow, it sounds, sounded better every every second. So you're gonna get yourself a pickle dog at the sack, and you're gonna, wolf, and, you're gonna and you're gonna gobble it down like a fucking do, do mad, and thing. you're gonna do a double donger at the same time. You're gonna double dong those. I got you. I got you. All right. So what does All that right. have to do with weed? By the way, right? I, now nothing. Now everyone's getting mad. The whole <laughs> yeah, no, dude. They're, they're like, revolt. Adam, save your show. It's like revolt in the chat. They don't know Fuck what to them. do. We don't have any guests. Do you want to call in? Oh yeah. Put the, put the Roz and Dog was saying something, and I guess I didn't get the joke. What? Is it was P Diddy uh, bad? 
Like, did he do things backstage because he what? was saying I was his, his rope? name is, is now P. Diddle. Is P. Diddy bad? Is that what you P. just said? P. I'm like, did he do something? Say because that one. he kept saying that uh, I was his road manager, and wow. because he didn't come, uh, he didn't accept my invitation to the P. Diddy after party. Ooh. That I'm banned him from yeah, the show. I just, Ooh, now we're talking. talking about <laughs> All right. So, so I guess P. Diddy is bad. It's P. Diddler, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he got rated by the. He FBI got rated. P. Like Diddler. He's been yeah. for a supposed He's a Peter Pupper. sexual human Peter, traffic Peter, type Peter, thing. Peter, Peter. Oh, then we don't want to. I don't want to have anything to do exactly. with it. Exactly. So Pupper. I'm not gonna. Saying. So listen, that <laughs> he I, was I was his road manager long before anyone knew anything about that. He was. Yeah. Dude, I met him, I'm, and it's funny because when I met him, all he wanted was. MDMA, right? Yeah, I he, thought he wanted weed, so I got there all excited. Yeah. Like, oh, he called me up. He wants weed. I come down there, and he goes, "Can you get me some? Can you get me some ecstasy?" And I'm just like, "What? That's what you're asking?" No, oh, dude, you dis- see, disappointed, disappointed me so I much. I was just going there. there. I was going. See, he's doing the wrong drug. So that's oh, and that's just way back in the day. So, yeah. I, and then my friend gets it for Is him, and then my friend gets it for him, right? So I was like, "Well, like, whatever." I made a call. My friend, ladies, my friend here. gets it for him. I get another call, like. Two hours later, and I'm like, oh, shit, he's all fucking high right now, and he's calling me going, dude, I need more of that. Where's your friend? I go back up there, and he goes, he goes, how do you, what would you give me, crack? He goes, and I go, what are you talking about? He goes, this is what your friend gave me, and I'm like, that's just crystal MDMA. What are you talking about? He goes, I go, just eat it. He goes, he gave me this look like a dog when it doesn't know what's going on. And I was like, all right, later. It was like so weird, but I was all sad. I thought he was thought he was going to be all spun out, be like, oh, I need you to come with me and tell him, this is it. <laughs> but no, it wasn't that at all. I see. He came across not very smart when I met him. Well, at least he could ask you for Quaaludes so he can Cosby someone. That's what he was really looking for, exactly. Yeah. That, was um, that was like 99, maybe. He was sort of, and it was funny because he was on tour with Snoop that year. And I had to go from, so I was coming, I was hanging out with Snoop's crew, and I get the call from Puffy's crew, and then when I go over to where- Look at Adam just three name dropped And when I go over to their hotel, so (laughs) Snoop's staying at the, Snoop's staying down by the Light Supply at that fucking, you know, that Marriott, not Marriott, but there's that one- Of the Royal something or other? It's just like your chain, like a Robota chain almost or something. They got a Pizza Hut downstairs, right? (sighs) And that's why Snoop stayed there, because they had a Pizza Hut. So he was like, woo, Pizza Hut. And I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? Super ghetto, right? Snoop Dogg stayed at a hotel in Amsterdam because they had a Pizza Hut in it. Exactly. It It was the Taco Bell Pizza Hut. 100%. And so then I go over to where... (laughs) Puffy's things at he's staying at the Amstel, right? The Amstel's like the nicest hotel in Amsterdam, oh, yeah. pretty much. One of the top ones. I gotta go through like three <laughs> fucking different security people to get up to him. When I get to the room, he's got literally like a hundred p- glasses stacked in this thing with bottles of Grey Goose everywhere. And it's like so he's got like about two hundred bottles of fucking vodka. And when I get back to Snoop, Snoop's got his uncle grilling chicken in the room <laughs> right when, when i come into there i come back over to their spot i was like oh man that was like and it was nobody there it was just all this vodka with nobody there and him out him all weird and then i go back to snoops there's like 20 people in the room he, fucking his uncle's there fucking uncle june bugs cooking he's got a grill in the room and he's cooking chicken he's like oh man i'm making all the food here and i was just like this is crazy this is like and that was just typical they always did that it was always funny it was always he had the sound system and a grill wherever he went and his uncle would just be cooking up shit and nice it was hilarious but yeah they get big contrast between those two and they were yeah and then that was the year that i rolled so i rolled snoop this ridiculous joint that year and so p diddy or puffy or whatever he was at the time he had to light it for him diddle and it was hair and it was hilarious <laughs> <laughs> he didn't exactly diddled at the sack so he was lighting it for snoop and it was one of those like embarrassing moments because he couldn't get his lighter to work you know what i mean so i was just kind of like, come on dude get it together dude it was like trying then he finally gets it going this new pans it to him and he goes no and i was like what a pussy wow. he Weird. pussied out didn't even take huh. a hit i don't know how cool that is not cool at all <laughs> not <laughs> it's 100 percent not cool <coughs> not. not cool <laughs> okay not cool i think if you look up it's weird i think if you look up puffy snoop giant joint you'll see the photo there's a photo well Jamie's on it right now I using know, the almighty Google. He loves it when I say things like that because he knows he has something to do, and then he gets right on it like crazy. Or he looks at me and goes, huh? So I don't know if I brought this up last time, but mm-hmm. this is an interesting thing. I always, I, I feel it relevant to bring it up for all of you out there who ever ask a friend which strain they liked the best. 
you know how to tell, right? It's the empty one. Okay? Oh. That's how you know. Oh. When you go in through the jars and you find the empty one, yeah. that's the one they Maybe like. So one. the dirty might taxi. Have, might have been that one too. That one, the permanent marker. And you obviously don't like this one because the terps are still on top. Like you've not even stirred it <laughs> or taken messy. anything out of it. Yeah, it was just a little too messy. No, I do like this one, but it's... Uh, I don't have to stir it all in every time anyway, but right. that was just, well, I, had, I, was, I had two jars of that though. That's is that part. it, Adam? Can I grab the Trinity what? so I can uh, Can you not see the some. screen? Oh yeah, that's it. Oh. There it is. Good job. Good job. Wait, you're at this show backstage? That's the joint I rolled there for him. Oh. Come on, Diddy. You can do it. Come on, Diddy. <laughs> or at least tell him he can, you know, get a prescription to help him if he's having problems with his joint. Wow. Look at that. I was like, I need. A, he needs a torch right now. I remember being in the audience going, "Give that man's a torch." Did they give you any credit for that? Oh, uh, you know, sort of, kind of, whatever. Yeah. Snoop's I, I, tall. Yeah, but Puff, he's small. Okay. That's the other thing. No, Snoop is tall. Ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Look who's here. That's actually a longer. That's pretty. pretty oh yeah, and then look at look at Puff. He's all getting all excited. He's getting all excited. This is first. Is it why? Is it the first joint he's ever seen, or it's the biggest one he's ever seen? It's the biggest one he's ever seen, bro. That mm. <laughs> happens to all of us. But um bum. See, I gave Vinny another line right there. See, does he take a hit or he does a fake hit? Uh, uh, see, he's like handing it oh, off. Oh, he's going to clinch it. See, he it? hands it right off. He didn't even fucking take a hit. What a pussy, right? What a puss. What a fucking pussy. He hands him the joint. I thought you said Snoop didn't hit it. I was like, no, that is not cool at all. I was Snoop like, what the fuck? hit it, of yeah, course. Okay, cool. and he, yeah. But then he handed it over to him, and he didn't even take a fucking hit. He just and handed it off. I was like, oh, man. Well, let's, that thing on stage. What are you let's doing? Let's go back and slow-mo it with him not taking a hit off of <laughs> yeah, it. You this know? is how you know Get he's not cool. Get the Telestrator <laughs> in there. This is how we already knew it was. Zoom in. He wasn't cool. Yeah, yeah. even, even Look, before he started oh, touching He could have taken a hit right there. Like, I think he did like this for a second, and then he pretended for like one second. He's like, woof, thank God I didn't fucking have to take that hit wow. off that giant joint. No, somebody told yeah. him it was Adam Dunweed, and he was going to be... And the funny part was is that the stoned. next day, I remember them saying like, it obviously wasn't real or something. You know, What? I was like, Faux what you, weed? I was like, what are you talking about? Get dude? the not, fuck out of here. Not only was it real, it was no tobacco, bro. Hello. Imagine rolling a giant tobacco joint oh, like that, how bad that would be. Because you know that's what some Dutch guy would do. Ugh. Sprinkle a gram across the top and be like, 500 gram joint. Please, no. Wait, a little bit of weed. <laughs> 500 gram joint is not possible. Not possible. Not possible. Not possible. Yep, there was one of those old joints. I think we might have to go to the bullpen. I'm seeing we have a relief pitcher warming up. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. Know. Landlady's warming up in the bullpen. She's coming in. She's coming you know, we might, maybe like, we'd break the like, trend. Wait a minute. No guests. Instead I'm of bringing in her on, and, I'm on Patreon, over. she comes on early. I'm taking over you know. the show. Are you warming up? Can you warm up in the bullpen? Get the, you know, the, 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 the <laughs> lyrical genius that prowess, the conversation. What? Okay, do, do we, put the oh link, we, we put the link up for anybody that wants to join us? It's already there. Rosin dogs. He, he's what? afraid. Can we put the link up on. No, so she's just going to sit it? there. You, yes, you came here for let's barbecue. Open let's open the gates because I'm going to put it only on YouTube. So if you're watching this on one of the other things, I just want to be able to control it from control side. freak. Oh my god, That's Mark! All. I didn't realize. I am a little bit of a control freak. What That's do you mean all. by the other things? Uh, like we have Twitter, we have Facebook, we have. So you uh, cannot find other. out on there. No, uh, yeah, you have to yeah, go just to every come over one. to just come over to YouTube. This is where the chat is, anyways. There's like two people on all those other ones. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Whoa. Well, we don't promote it. Yeah, it's, it's, like, everyone comes to YouTube. <laughs> it's weird. See, Mark is taking up your ha your little <laughs> the little nuance of just breaking on the advertisers. He's breaking on the show. Good for you, Mark. Keep it up, buddy. Okay. Keep it up. What does that mean? You you uh, you express your negativity in the boardroom oh. when Tops is going <laughs> trying to wave you off, going no, don't say that. Don't no! say that. Hey, so fi so fill us in on what happened while we were gone here. There, while we were just hanging around here. Yeah, we what happened gone. here? What happened? What happened in Denver? Was there anything exciting? Anything Why exciting? is there a stripper pole huh. in the middle yeah, of the? What happened? Huh. So Did anything happened in the two weeks we were gone at all? Uh, Not here in this building. I'm just talking about in town and like generally, nothing. Big Ooh. zero. It was a big zero. The whole world fell apart. No. Snow. Uh, snowed twice. Snow, yeah. Yep. Snow twice. <laughs> Very exciting for radio. Snow. Snow yeah, twice. Yeah. <laughs> exciting. <laughs> exciting <laughs> online stuff. It Real. dumped. It was ugly on the 25 for a day and a half. For sure. You guys, you would have been, you would have been stuck. You would have been stuck Who are you pointing to? to? Both of you, actually. Why? Why? Why would I have been stuck? Because there was a bunch of snow at your place. <coughs> and even more down at Adam's, for sure. 
Yeah, I heard about and it. And then it melts quick. You know, two days later, it's gone. But I, it's uh, I reached out to Chad. It was messy. Uh, Chad Westport yesterday to try to get him on. As a, I, I reached out to a lot of people. Let me tell you. Yeah. Yesterday wow. was yesterday was rough. Sounds... Let me let me explain myself. I tried to people. I tried, but we have everything lined I up just... for next. One of the best parts is that we have lined up next week. And the week after. Like you think that's actually, like the people that you spoke with. Oh, yeah, that, no, they got they have to. Yeah, because, no, because not going to happen. Yeah, it is. Because we I, have, it's Sweetgrass. And they're the ones who are doing Mila's Cup. So they're gonna, uh-huh. they want the, they want the, uh, the promotion. So. Well, we have Kawhi Hemp in the, in the bullpen for next week, too, if we Do need Do we? Regen yeah. X oh, now, a, you're, now you've overloaded my next week. I got I next did. week covered. No, I was trying to and get then the this week. week. After, and then the week after, we've got uh-huh. Dr. Freak and, and Shapeshifter coming through. <laughs> his dad How will we tell who, who he is? Well, one's his dad and one's his son. So they uh-huh. probably would be pretty easy to figure it out. Well, if he's a Shapeshifter, can he come in looking like tops? Anybody, anybody can look like tops. It's pretty easy. No, you I just, don't think so. You, you just do what I used to you take my old sticker, right? And then you just replicate it. <laughs> there you go. It's, <laughs> it's, no. it's the same image I made. He's got, no. Yeah, 100%. It's, a, it's not. It's just the Reed hair. Gen X had a funny one. He said, uh, I handed George Clinton the J at a P-Funk show. He lit the filter in. Copped out a cardboard hit and looked at me like I was the unfunkiest white boy ever. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> He's like, man, you're smoking some cardboard. That's some cardboard terps That's right some there. That's some hella cardboard terps. That's like if Oreo he said, is that Oreos, bro? You'd be like, whoa, you're psychic, man. It hasn't even come out yet. Yep. Yeah. I brought George Clinton a, a fuck. Uh, just a huge box of edibles from Epic Foods when I was working there. And I mm-hmm. think it was must have been like 2011, 2012. They played uh, the Fillmore in Denver. Mm-hmm. I watched that box get scarfed down so fast. It was... it was. He's got a it, huge fucking entourage. Th- there were 50 people there. Yeah, exactly. But I had a... It, there was a ton. I mean, I did spared no expense. It mm-hmm. was it was all of like the the pre wana candies from Mountain High Edibles. Pre-wana. Well, yeah, this is before Chief Nancy made wana. They were Mountain High Edibles. Gotcha. Um, full of sodas, infused sodas, every even Epicure. This was that. Oh, do you remember? Hundred percent. Yeah. This was what we had that totally circumvented all shining, of the regulations. Shining example of, oh really? We, can we just do this? <laughs> How about if we just do that? And yeah. You're like, what? You so mean, for just, just, just to explain, Epicure was just flour, mm. and you would spray it with a little like. Uh, at the time, it was uh, like an, I guess it was an alcohol extraction, because they wanted the alcohol to evaporate afterwards so they sprayed on so that the oil would be left over and there'd be no alcohol in it and because it had decarboxylated thc idea. in it it yeah. qualified as an edible right so you could sell it you could grow as much as you want you didn't have a plant count it was the biggest yeah. loophole that they ever had it proved that the whole industry was for cock yeah. danny danko's in the chat oh, danny, oh but he won't fuck. join in you know he's got dinner plans he's or something on his like grow that. bud yourself uh profile did wow. you notice that he has a dab X now? Just relax, bro. Oh, he's really going yeah, for it. Yeah, he has one. He's going for he it. said that he was actually listening on Twitter originally, but the chat was too quiet, so he came over here. Well, see, just like you at. said. Just like you said. I know. He heard it, and he was like, oh, man, what am I Did doing over here? Did you send him the link? Yeah, yeah click on the link and come on in. Just click it looks on like the link. A, we don't yeah. need, no, we don't need Danny. We have him, right? Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you on. Very oh, yeah. we know. Oh, thank, oh hey. hey. Thanks, Dan. Hey, we Dan. put the link. Whoever Dan, wants to I click noticed, that link and hey, come Dan, on in. I noticed that in. you had uh, James Bean on your show. That was really cool. Look at the big picture. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed he's now your sponsor, too. It's great yeah. to see that. Oh, oh, no, he has more. Oh, he has get more sponsors. Die. Oh, he's coming to DabX? He, he's, no. getting, he's reached out to DabX. He's uh-huh. reached out to Build Turf Wipes. Build a Soil. Build a Soil. Um, Bio 365. Worldwide. Yeah, it's uh, Sunscape LEDs next. Oh, Actually, he oh, said he had the big, tips. Speaking, he had a big day for a dabex. So, every, yeah, is he saying that in the fucking thing, <laughs> motherfucker? Oh, oh, oh. motherfucker! That's, That's the word on the street right no, now. No, you know dude. what he had to do? He didn't so. want to carry it around Spain, Ooh. so he uh, looks. He, he got he's one. like a photographer-looking guy. He anyway, got one. It was, there's always two sides so to every story, right? He's so perfect. Mm. I don't know. He's uh, a great guy. But um, but, um since but, um, whoever boom. our guest but, right um, now, uh, Tops, do you want to do, if you say a few words tonight, no. you can be a guest on we Danko Show in two up. weeks. We have to set them all up. It's too much work. Wow. Yeah. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody. Yeah, just call in, bro. Yeah, call yeah, in. Dude. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. No, Rosin Dog's poisoned the well for us. For what? Any guests? Everything. <laughs> did he? Yeah. Everything. Yeah, huh? he wow. did it. 
That's pretty rough. He hates me. It'll go to the... Because of that one I Puff Daddy thing. That one time you I just wanted there. you to spend some alone time with on P. It. Diddy. He just wanted to hang out with you for a little wasn't while. Wasn't there like a red door? Wasn't there like a green door, a red door policy or something red like that? Door. They had a red door policy, There right? was a small hole in the wall. He just wanted you to, you know... Red door. It was a red door policy, bro. Huh? Wait, what is red door policy? This show is worldwide. Oh, come on, people. <laughs> you don't understand what red door policy is? Come on. You're okay, at P. Diddy's house. There's a red door. You don't go through the door. Oh. Unless red means some, stop. Unless you're like some chick. Invited. Yeah, or a invited. child. Or, yeah. <laughs> it's, a very sm- it's a small door. It's a small door. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> Tom. Oh, they had, no, Flavor Camp. No, it was, it was um, Flavor Camp, though. They had Flavor Camp. So oh, people can find it. That's what it was called. It was called P. Diddy Flavor Camp. P. Diddy oh, for the Flavor kids. Camp. Oh, no, it was for the kids. Go for the kids. That's where Justin Bieber went. Other Justin Bieber count. was going for it. And then, so Usher got Bieber in. That's how it all worked. It was like a, it was a never ending. Never-ending cycle of young boys <laughs> <laughs> rolling through the wait, <laughs> rolling through fa- Flavor Camp. Oh goodness, this uh, is like uh, this is, uh, uh, Wonderland. It's total Wonderland, <laughs> but with a hip hop twist. She's been here twenty minutes. She she's, could have been sitting here no, she's jibber busy. jabbering. She's busy. She's got her whole. She's having. A, a, oh, she's a being set. interviewed. Yeah. No, Nick's taking. Care Nick's of. doing a podcast too. Yes. He's Excellent. Right, of course he does. Of course he has a podcast. What do you think? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What do yeah, you think? Yeah. So, um, P Diddy. You got the you got the link out. Everyone's I sent it to I Danko. I just pinned he it to us. the top of the YouTube chat in okay. case you couldn't find it. Gotcha. It's now there forever. Forever, ever? Yeah, what do you mean dude. forever and ever? It's there forever, bro. What does that mean? Forever and ever. I don't know about that. I don't know about okay. that. I don't think anything should really be forever. Bye, Felicia. Night. Could we talk to Ed, maybe? Yeah. Maybe. Is he here? Yeah. Ed is not no, here. I'm pretty um, sure he is. Oh, no, he just came in the door. So hey, Ed. Hey. How are you doing? What's going you on? You just got back from Morocco. <laughs> Doing your triploid project. Yeah, we need to. How was that? We definitely need to get the humble guys on for that. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm wondering, is your name really Ed Rosenthal? Uh, Damn. Wow. Uh, is he drinking again? Softball. Did you get, softball. you got him, you, you got softball. him smoking again. Is he now drinking? No, we're throwing softball. Is he using crack? Yeah, What's going on? Does the English teacher come to help you learn to read? Like, Fucking Ed, I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah dude. You're the greatest. He woke Ed. up. He, he was he usually nods out. There's a lot of nodding out going on. I, I'm I'm just wondering, is there I mean how, nice. how couldn't we use make an AI Ed? Don't we have enough audio of him to make an AI? He would have crushed it. The uh, stand up you need you can do a whole stand up routine with him, I'm sure. Well we, we, and then we get Brian Monarch to come in and do the whole face shift thing and we have Arnold speaking for Ed. We need to find out from. We need to talk to Brian again and find out when um, Theo Vaughn's in town here because we need to get him on the show at some point. Because I keep listening to shows where, like, God damn, we need we need Theo Vaughn on the show. Oh, the chat just asked if there's any weed on the show. Is Did there? you bring any weed for me to roll? I just gave you a bag of weed. What are you yeah, talking that, about? That's for take homes. Oh shit! <laughs> I know <didn't bring> <laughs> <it's> for you. <laughs> then I, you know, it's you nice re- and sealed. For travel, extra weed for myself. No, I did not. you did not bring any extra weed for yourself. Your I mean, is weed in my bag, yeah, of course, there is. It's gonna be from before the... Uh oh, it'll be old, it'll be dry, it'll be so uncolored. See, look, of course, you have weed. Now we just need a tray and no uh, papers and a uh, lighter. Oh, and this guy's needy right here. That's why, yeah, <laughs> that's what it all that's comes down The neediest guy <laughs> you've ever met, aren't I? But it, you know what? But at least I'm not wearing a mask, right? I throw it out there. This is who I am. We're on the show. Do you want me to get up and walk off and, and be no really jibber jabber? You'd lose me for 15 oh. seconds. What would you do without me? Oh my God. Dave, come back, know. please. Adam can talk for five hours. You know, I know he the can. Show, the show might really get good. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Do you have any Watch. papers there, Mark, in a tray? Speaking and of which, I uh, no, I, I don't have oh, any. Oh, speaking of shows, too, there's a whole bunch of, seems like a whole bunch of things dropped in the last, like, week or so. It seems like everybody keeps, they're all starting to come out. What do you mean shows? Like people's podcasts and shit people, like that? People's shows that I went on at some point in time, and now all of a sudden it's like, oh, shit, that's coming out now, too. Um, there is the, like I said, that Chad Westport one, part two came out. So there was, I think there's... I'm pretty sure Mark watched the whole thing. Mark, what did you think of it? I watched the whole thing. Your Chad 
uh, Westport interview? It was good, right? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Actually, there's some shit that I didn't even know on oh there. Oh, my God. Good. Shit you didn't even know. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. It's like, like, yeah. The, the onion. The layers of the onion. Exactly. No, You're it's like, good. Oh. It's good. It's, yeah, uh, it I thought... It's cool because it's like not interrupted. You don't have Dave interrupting you. I know. Right? Oh. It's like it's like a whole just like oh. flow, <laughs> nice flow going on. Everything's just kind of wow. This is really interesting. I can get into this. Yeah. Right. No jarring. No Very jarring. Com- ah, left-handed <laughs> comments. <laughs> left-handed. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Why are they so left-handed, dude? <laughs> yeah. Does it show? It, it does. It yeah. does. Yeah. You can tell you're left-handed through How the mic. How can you tell? Through the mic. You can tell I'm mm-hmm. left-handed yeah. through the mic. Just the way that you talk. Just the way that you talk. Way that Your responses to <laughs> Yeah, they're very left-handed. Like very left-handed. Very right-brained, do you mean? Uh, yeah, there you go. That that works? Yep. That's the one that's not really you, creative, right? Do you have papers now? I what? do. I'm, okay, I'm all set. Vinny oh, took care of me. Oh, cool. My needs. Look at that. Satisfied Look at my that. needs. How nice of Vinny to yeah. take care of you like that. Because Yes. You know. Thank you so much. He left his Pepsi here, though. <sighs> Look at that old Pepsi logo. All I wanted was a Pepsi. Just oh, I know all about that. It says made with real sugar. <laughs> That's all he wanted, man. I know, dude. You get high fructose, Dig it. Uh, yeah, dig so it. Uh, we pinned the link, and uh, we're just, uh, you know, you can come on in and say hi to Adam. You know, you guys always want to ask Adam questions. Like, uh, ask Adam. Ask Adam. Ask Adam. Ask Adam. Adam, how Marky old were Mark. you the first time you smoked yeah, weed? Yeah, Marky Mark's got a so question watch, about Watch pollen. those other shows where I get to talk about things. You can't answer something like that. No, and now Marky you have Mark to should call in. He's you know, got a question. On, I did it on the other show. you got to listen to the other shows where I talk about all those things. Uh, that was on. That's lame. Listen, that one was on. <laughs> That's so it, lame to do oh, that. That was on the Jug, the Jug Dealer show. If you go to the Jug Dealer episode. Jug Dealer? Uh, when I first, and actually on the podcast. Because that is like the first question that people ask you. And then you Party. Tell, Tell the same story because it's the same. I can't change the first time I smoked weed, so. It's weird. It's just the first time. First time? Such a lame answer. <laughs> Who were you with the first time? Uh, Allison Downey. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr.'s sister. Because uh-huh. she was getting me high. Because she was supposed to be babysitting me, but she just got me all super high. So basically, if she didn't do that, he you would have gave, Robert he, Downey Jr.'s career? No, he yeah. almost gave you a shout out at the Oscars. He did. <laughs> he said, "And then to the guy that I can't remember." To my childhood, he said, "To my yeah, childhood." Dude. Did he? I was like, oh, "Yeah." yeah. He didn't basically, even have Adam. a childhood. What he <laughs> about? To he... my messed up childhood. Oh, he did have a fucking messed up childhood. Yeah. That's what he said. Thanks. Oh, really? To. I was part of that. There you go. Right. There you go. Okay. Good. No, wait, if you he listen, tried to give you, you a watch, shout out. If you watch the dad, he's got. There's a documentary about his dad called Senior or something, right? And. <laughs> nope. Growing up, nobody knew who he was. That's, my, that's who my mom was going out with. And now if I watch this documentary, it's like, wow, this is weird because, like, the minute that he asks him about, like, hey, what about those years? And he's like, ugh. Uh, they're dark. Uh, they're, it made it sound so <laughs> horrible. I was like, "Those are our years, dude." He's like, those, are, those are the years we were with. His oh man, those are the dark. D- 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 oh, don't even talk about it. Damn. Ooh, no shit. Oh, that's yeah. horrible. That's gotta scar you. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> considering he's considered like such a bad boy or whatever. I mean, we we we're, we're his worst moments. So right there you go. And then I mean, it's well, kind of I mean, cool. Like '90s bad boy, and then he like cleaned up, right? Oh, he's totally yeah. yeah and like, became so a billionaire. Like, now he's a billionaire. Yeah, he went to jail. Yeah. He, well, he gave a shout out to you, and then a shout out to his lawyers that kept him out of jail. Oh, well, there you they go. got him out. Thanks. Yeah. No, you know what's happened is one time Mojave saw him at the Santa Monica Pier of all places, right? And he was like, "Oh, and this is years ago. This is like 15 years ago, maybe pre Iron Man, way pre Iron Man, right? This is when he was still approachable, right? He was not just like hanging out not on the he's on the boardwalk, right? So he was there, and Mo goes up to him and he goes, "Hey, hey, do you remember?" Uh, do you remember uh, Adam, Ace's kid? And he looked at him all weird, like at first. And then he was like, and then he's like, Ace? Oh, fuck, like Ace. Then he's like, he said he got this like ghostly, like his, all the, co- he kind of, and then he was like, yeah, how's he doing? And then he goes, oh, he's all right. He's in Amsterdam. It's just when I was still in Amsterdam, right? And he goes, oh, I was kind of mean to that kid. That's all he ever said. Like, I was kind of mean to that kid. And then, so he, re- he acknowledged that he was a dick to me because he was. He was just, I mean, I was probably Nick's I was like 11 and he was like 15 16 so why, uh, why wouldn't he be yeah, a dick you right. know what I mean like we're gonna hang out with 11 year olds were you anything like Nick oh I was, yeah I was oh, a little, I he got, was horrible to you yeah I was a little little, little yeah, I was a little, uh, oh yeah little you more. spoke your mind anyway, for sure anyways 
But yeah, kind of funny. Kind of funny. But if you listen to anybody else's podcast, you can hear all these stories about me. That's great. Yep. That's how it goes. <laughs> Don't ever listen to this show and expect to hear the no. I just have to doodly doodly. No, doodly. every so often. <laughs> every so often, I'll, I'll throw one out there. Mark should call in. He's got a to- he's got a pollen question, and oh, I'm not going to answer shit. it for him. Mark, no, call we're not in. Even gonna ask. Send him the link. I, he's he's watching. Oh, he's well, watching, dude. He's watching. He can jump in. He's got the, the link. link is pinned he might at the still top be of watching. the chat. Oh, he's going to get in so much trouble if he does though. He right. It, yeah. Right. That, it's oh. all your fault. It's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. I, I get it. I get it. He might not be able to. He but might. he did have a question about. He can just text the question into the chat, and then Mark can see. He it. did, but oh. Mark didn't want to read it. The question was: Is how long is uh, pollen viable if he sprouts one in the room? Four years. Well, he doesn't want. He wants to make sure it's there's no tent. pollen in that room. Whatever tent he's in, he needs to wash that bitch down with water so there is no pollen, and then yeah. you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it could be three months, right? Oh, it could last a, quite a while. You know, if, yeah. it, if you four if you, years. I mean, no. <laughs> not. If, if it was frozen, it might might last a couple of years. Well, I've seen it, but um, but normally, yeah, three three months is pretty long too. I mean, it, it's funny because the viability comes down, but there's still chances. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. At least yeah. a couple of weeks. Oh, for sure, weeks, no problem. Yeah. At least a couple of weeks. Definitely. No, you just the thing is, but it's deactivated with, with water immediately, right? So basically, just get a sprayer, spray every single square inch of that thing down, and you're good to go. You should be. Oh, you know. see, Mark, you could have called in, bro. Could have called and had that all answered for you the same way, he but did with collect. your reaction. And now he's got. What on. is going on here? Is this Jesus? Oh, you, you just that got was P. Some, I just had my boy, was, my man. Did you just had your man some, come out. My man oh. serving oh. came and lit that my was joint. That's some Cabana boy <laughs> bullshit wow. there for yeah, sure. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow, stretching. I like, kind of did it so like he's Hank Azaria wow. from the Birdcage. So he's I like, no, it. stretch a little further. He like, <laughs> he like pulled back a little bit too. What a dick! He's like, oh, I enjoy this. Watch him lunge. Watching him lunge. That's Watch ridiculous. This. Boy lunge. He was doing a boy lunge there. I only did it because it was a better chance that I could get my lighter. You know back. what's funny right now? You know, <laughs> ah, you know what's really funny? That. If Mark, can you can could you <coughs> oh, could you take a, like a shot of yourself right now and then post put up next to a picture of Sam Bankman Freed right next to it and then oh tell me God. I want to see the <laughs> comparison <laughs> because you got the exact same length hair yeah. as him right now almost. Yeah. Take off the glasses. And then you could do it, dude. You could play him in the next because he's gonna come out. That's yeah. That's um, in 25 years. Soon, you know, know maybe if I start <laughs> acting now, I'll be good enough to be the actor he, for that. All you have to do is be awkward. Probably not. He's that guy's so easy to play. You have to read lines. Just be no, weird. Not with be the like, Larry uh, David. Yeah, he's not that hard to act. Mm. You but watch this season of Curb. It's hilarious. I heard it's hard. It's hard to watch. <laughs> no, it's. <laughs> what do you mean it's hard? It's rough. No. No. Hard. What did just to keep going? Hmm. Me, I stop sentences. You get, you guys sort of. Uh, okay, back to Mark's question. He's nope. got a bunch he wants to say. <laughs> and he can't finish the sentence. That's <laughs> that's his that's his thing. Yeah. I had the greatest reel Good that I was podcast. sharing. But, Good for podcasts. But back to the question. Well, <laughs> he still got the pollen though, and he wants to know: Should he freeze it? Should he put it in the refrigerator? It depends how long he wants to keep it for. Fridge yes. is easier. Freezing is like long term, but it better be a good freezer. And you better not go fuck around with it. And when you do pull it out of the freezer, it's one you better shot. use it then right away. It's gonna get all get condensed. It'll get a, it's one, you it'll got one shot. Moist. You get one shot. It's like Eminem. One shot. It's like an Eminem song, Big but time. it's pollen basically. Yeah. yeah. Now fr- fridge is easier, and then put a lot of just take a take like whatever you say if you got it in a like a little bindle is what I usually do because it's easy, and then put that into a a bunch of rice, and then the rice will desiccate. Was a desiccant. So it'll keep the moisture off of it. That's a good one. And then you put that into, into a, so you fill the you, you fill the uh, jar like your yeah. ball jar, just like the ball arena, ball, sack. ball arena, From the sack. sack. Fill sack. your sack. Fill your sack. Sack jar with rice. And then f- uh, do it halfway with rice. Put your things in there. Then fill it up to the top. Then seal it up. Throw it in the fridge and just leave it alone. And uh, make sure you date it. Make sure you put a date on it. You gotta date it. You have to have a date with you it. You have to take dinner. it out to dinner, wine it, and, and dine probably, it. And, and probably it label it, too. Labeling is super important. Uh, date super important because Got you it. will forget, and you'll be like, well, how long has this been in here? And oh, it'll actually be two up. years, but you'll think six months because you know who you are. Because you're a stoner. <laughs> what? I'm saying you know who you are. Mm-hmm. And this is, this is a, a candy rope. This is like THC sugar candy. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know who you are, too. I might Andy transplant Rowe. some plants right now. Nice, dude. You're going to transplant some plants right now? Yeah. He's going to transplant some plants right now. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's got rooting stimulator. Oh, he's my got, goodness. He's got some. Is that code for something for Vinny? The stimulator. No, no he's, the vindic- he's the vindicator. He's <laughs> not the stimulator. He's the vindicator. <laughs> That's right. There's a difference. But don't bump. Absolutely. There is a difference. You know what I noticed, Mark? Yes, sir. I don't have an ash. Oh, you know what I was going to oh, say? Oh, shit. Balls. So next week, wow. in studio, right in studio next week, Sunscape Lamps himself. Oh, Jen, really? Yeah, Jen will be here Sweet. with um, another guy coming from Missouri who's a breeder who, I have to look up his name again, but... Uh, Spe- speaking of, of gin, I, this, I saw this when I went shopping today. I'll send it to Mark. I think you'll all get it. Check out this pasta sauce. Check out this pasta sauce. Here you go, Mark. What do you got? What do you got? I have pasta sauce that I saw, and when you mentioned Sunscape LED and mm-hmm. the connection to another friend of ours, mm-hmm. and I saw this pasta sauce, I don't want to say it, but here it is, and you'll uh, you'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> put that up. Put that. Hey, put, please. Hey, put it up over here. Oh, hey, I wasn't hey. listening. What'd you say? I just sent. Hey, Motherfucker. I really wasn't listening to you. <laughs> no. Why would you listen to us? Because I was in your thro- employers was having a conversation. Would you here. take like, a look at WhatsApp, please? No. Please. And this time when you post it, make sure you're not posting something you shouldn't be posting. Oh, good. Why? What is he posting? Oh, I'll, he didn't tell you what happened? No. Oh, I'll tell no, you later. I didn't. That's definitely see, not for. Man, it didn't show. happen? You know. Nope. Did it Dave doesn't know no? how to do He's secrets. awesome. Hey, what is this I your know, favorite? I don't. You I'm really dude. fucking bad You're at so that. so bad at it, dude. Really bad. <laughs> so this, these guys didn't, didn't, didn't get the memo. They didn't get the like trendy memo of what's cool and what's not these days. Total mids. <laughs> dude, those are big mids. <laughs> I was just like, you really? You're calling your sauce mids? Do you not uh. keep up with pop? Nomenclature at all? Yeah, well, you can't help it if you're already there. It says since 1938. Change the name. So since 1938, Mids <laughs> has, sucked. has never sucked been a problem. Then, you, Mids has always yeah. been kind of cool until they figured it's it funny. out. And now we know it's Midsy. Maybe. Full blown Midsy. Like, uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, Any more questions? Maybe. All right, well, I guess we'll just end the show right now. Thank you so much. What's going on? <laughs> Where, where's Rosin Schwags? <laughs> Which Rosin Schwags? He just he, he he's missing out an opportunity to really go toe to toe. Uh oh, look at Tops is saying he wants in. Nope. Tops is in? I don't know what he's doing. He's like walking. No, no, Vinny's like, doing Vinny's doing the build the ship while we sail the seas. That's what he's doing. He's like, you know, best time to do this. Best time to have a third person on would be might need a microphone. We were really on the impression that no one cared about us. Uh oh. Wow, Vinny. Yep, you thank really you. Showed that mic. Who's boss? Who's boss? <laughs> okay, you yeah. Did. You see how he like, just yeah, slapped bitch slapped it. it. Like, oh, bitch slapped that. Fuck that stand. Man. What? Yeah. You want some? Yeah. You want some of that? Tap on that thing. Nothing. Tap on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Tapity tippity tippity. No, no. You know what? Don't do it like that. Tops. It makes it wrong. <laughs> and just. And there you just go. Check, 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 check. Mm. I don't hear anything. Yeah, it's, it's there. That's it's the one. There. That's it? the one. I'm looking at the meter. So back to the pickle dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. there any chance that you would, right now, Tops, go drive to Pepsi Center and get us a few of those? Hell one without hot dog for Adam? Hell no. Oh, dude, I, I sent someone to the pretzelry because... They're closed right now. Oh, no, no. I mean, because someone was talking about pretzels online, and I sent them there, and they're like, yeah, dude. Did they order them? They're gonna. See that? Yeah. One man. Oh, He's going cool. to Europe to try pretzels in Germany and all over. Oh, nice! Yeah. That's what the guy's doing. Yeah. Oh, he's going on wow. pretzel. He's going tour pretzels. He's going on a on a pretzel um, pilgrimage. Mm. To That's the, He's going to come back with an impacted to colon. He's going to come back with an impacted colon by the time he gets back. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't shat in a month. Uh, <laughs> I ate forty-seven pretzels a day for a week. Yeah, well, God damn. Oh, you s- love that. I guarantee you, watch, the landlady is going to go eat one of these things th- with a hot dog in the middle of it. Oh. Ah! Yeah, dude. I mean, w- imagine that? if your job was to core pickles <laughs> and insert hot dogs into them every day. That's what you were doing. Dude, that's, that's your awesome. job. 
What do you do all day? I insert, <laughs> I insert hot dogs into pickles. That's my job. Just, yeah, dude. Whoop, 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 whoop. You got to come no, across. No, no, no. Hold on a second. You have to work up to that. You just the core. You take yeah. the you take the oh, guts one, of the pickle out. Yeah, one guy's That's all you do. And the, and the the shining, the shining employee gets to do that. <laughs> insertion of pick of insertion of uh, hot dog into pickle. <laughs> The deep frying, that's just like grind work. That's the grind. And then dip, dip and di- dip and, gr- dip and gr- uh, fry. Wait. Yeah, but then there's a whole lot. Then you have to dip it. And mm-hmm. then, yeah. So I know. I think the worst part of that would just be anything. Yeah, all of it. Yeah, all of it. Well, you don't want to be in front of the fryer Eating no it. way all day. That's, that's not good. Eating it was just heaven, though. It was so enjoyable. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, the fried pickles, no big deal. I, you know, that's, but the hot dog part. I don't see the enhancement because if you think about it while you're eating it, it really doesn't help. You know, it's not like you know what? That's not acceptable. Just a shot of so, chicken lips. Dude. So what will happen you're is like Vinny will put it on the menu at So High, and he'll make a uh, he can't. tofurkey he can't. hot dog. Luckily, he can't do it because it's frying. He can't, oh, can't fry anything here. <laughs> Thank God. That's the one thing I'm so happy uh. he can't do. Because if he could, this place would be gross. He'd why, be like, why is Tom? He would be frying everything that, that he yeah. could see. He'd be like, oh, 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 can we fry it? Can we fry it? It'd be like one of those shows. <laughs> Put some co- coffee grounds in it. Oh, yeah. Just fry it up. I got these coffee Wh- pucks. No. What, do do, what do we do with these coffee pucks? You're Will like, it fry? Yeah. That's the title of the show. Will I mean, it fry? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. That's yeah. actually a good, good I, I'm sure it's been done. Dude. I'm sure. Yeah. They've done, can it, whatever. Yeah. Every single thing possible. I get stuck there. on Tops, those. Tops, would uh, you mind grabbing me a water, please? What, the crushing Maybe things? No, the put crushing your, things your and down. the red hot cobalt ball for some reason. I don't know why. I get kind of bored. What is of he that? doing to your skateboard? Yeah, there might he loves be. it. I see how much he loves it. It's see like, if there's a warm become, one. It's become like. Yeah, part you of can it. get the warm ones behind there. They don't have to be cold. Maybe. Or red see, hot He's in love with the girl on there. That's what happened. He fell in love with the girl. She is quite attractive. I mean,. I got the skateboard in 1999, so she's pretty old by this time. She Did you get old. that for you're giving that to Tops? Is that yeah, what he's doing it to it? For the shop, man. Oh. It's for the shop. So I got through all those uh, the Zaza stuff that. What you think? Anything good? Yeah. So. Okay. There we go. Z2. Thank you. Okay. Like didn't look great for some reason. At least the yeah, little yeah. bit that I got. Sure. Like Z4 had the best bag appeal and mm-hmm. was like the middle of the road smoke. Gotcha. But two. Was like when you grind it up, it was so it smelled so fucking good, dude. Like there was something about two that smelled really great. Two two. Three was like in the middle of the two of them. Okay. And then yeah, so, and then four. Three just was in the middle of two and four. Those are the You're only kidding me. <laughs> no no no. It's but crazy like, how he figured that out. I mean, we've been gone two <laughs> weeks. Holy He's shit. had two weeks to figure it out. So no, yeah, yeah, I yeah. give him. A Our good boys all grown up. <laughs> He's all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> but Next ABCs. We're gonna get it all. It's covered. funny. We did a sofa bab, and I brought those over. Yeah. And those guys don't really smoke, but they're smelling all the bags, and they like Z three the best. Hmm. So it was so, weird. So for the custies, we go for the three. Yeah. <laughs> and for the headies, we go for the two. Maybe, yeah. That might be it. Yeah. Okay, so there's two out of there that look, and then, and what was the, th- okay. So the Z4 looked great, yeah. and then, but it just didn't have that same smell when you, you know grind it's perfect, it up. You know what that's good for? Huh. Extract. Because uh. it's really, that one actually had, I remember looking at it too, and it had, it's like, you know, when you get the bag, like, when you put it in, or if it's in a bag and it comes out, it's like shine, it's, yep. it's, got, the, it's got the shine. Mm-hmm. That's always a good hash maker. Oh, ah, okay. Because yeah. it means there's something to it. Yeah. Yep. Cool. All I'm right. still I was, so proud I was of thinking you. about that. I was surprised if you were. I was like, he's he's going to be like, I don't know, dude, it was all weed or yeah, something. No, I, I was, yeah? I was, I was, you I was hitting them all like in Taking the bong notes. And, like, Was yeah. it like a montage? Did you do a montage? I would just do one per like, day and d- just kind of d- like. Headband. Did you wear like oh. a headband and you were like walking around with yeah, like, marks? Like John McEnroe. <laughs> doing marks on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Doing marks on the. Like looking at it. More from of a like, kind of Cut me, Vic. Cut me. I made a fucking spreadsheet. Yeah, totally. More of the Larry Bird look. Exactly. Yep. That's funny. Exactly. So, and then, yeah, I'm going to get to the hazelnut. Oh, next. wow. Yeah. You got a whole wow. second job to work on. Mm-hmm. And, and Vinny didn't care. He just rolled it all into one big thing. And <laughs> <laughs> I just rolled like, it yeah, into it one. All, it all worked. It all did something. He's making me want to do this now. So I'll, I'll oh, actually, okay. I'll do this now. We'll do this. We'll do the chart. Well, good. Because we have a whole new round of stuff coming. Oh, okay. good. A whole new round. Yeah. yeah. We and we really actually, need your opinion, yeah, we, Mark. We, we it's good. really important. No, we do. I know. Yeah. I told. I'm, I'm. If you are a Patreon listener or viewer, you can see mm. these later because I did a little tour today and I was quite excited about it. Myself. Oh, cool. I was like, oh, quite shit. excited. These oh, yeah. Things. Uncut Bush was asking if all your plants were dead by the time you came home. No, they were thriving because the thing is, I Do transpl- you know who his mom is? I transplanted everything until uh-huh. that I could. Uh huh. And it was funny too because I love it when you're like, I mean, 
It sucks when you're under pressure because I'm like, I got, I got 12 hours left before I got to leave and I still have to do this whole thing. I still, but I knew I had to do it because if I came home, if I didn't do it, I would have came home to misery 100% because everything yeah. was at that phase where it was like root bound and ready to fucking be transplanted and I was pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And I was at the end, it was like, it's like if I was running a fucking <laughs> triathlon or something because I was like tripping over shit. I was all tired. I was getting like, I was getting like, like, like things caught in between my feet as I'm walking because I'm so Ace, tired and I'm just like, I gotta, oh, make, gotta make it to the fucking finish line, right? And I, I'm like, and at the end, it was crazy. Like the amount of soil that I had prepped and the amount of plants I had and po- without any rhyme or reason, just throwing it all like, ah. Yeah. At the end, I was like, holy shit. I got it down to like the final scoop of soil on the final plant with the, like, it was like Sick. to the, n- well, ding. Nice, dude. And it was like 3.30 in the morning and I had to leave the next day and I was just like, all right. Adam Dunn, my esteemed partner That's and colleague. That's dinner time for you, isn't it? May I offer <laughs> a oh, different I perspective on what, what actually happened? What's you that? didn't do any of that. And Ace did it all. Mm-hmm saved everything, transplanted everything. No way. That was her oh. telling you no, she's about the whole last little... she No, she, but she did an excellent job of keeping everything hydrated properly. And the funny thing is that when I got back, everybody that she had talked to told me how good of a job she did before I even got home because she had basically called them going, oh my God, this is so, I have to just nonstop go around and check plants all day. But I actually made it pretty easy for her because when you transplant, you kind of have this like, there's a good 10 day window of just, you could just let them just, you could over the water them to shit and let them sit there and they'll be fine because they'll just figure their way out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You, you don't have to like be all super worried about them because they need a chance to just kind of figure it out themselves at that sure. point. So it was perfect. Came home and everything was like pff, booming, booming. Nice. Which is great. Um, Peace of Mind Farming says, Adam, would you please talk with us about the selection for the French macaron? I came across a great phenotype, very strong and sweet to start, and piney lemony finish. Yeah, I wasn't. I, I, unf- well, I wasn't involved in the selection of that at all. That was from Julian, who was mm-hmm. uh, the head breeder for THC Europe. And it's funny because all of those, I mean, it's a gelato 33 cross, right? So it's mm-hmm. like, a, it's like, I think it's one of the first ones they did, um, French cookies, uh, uh, gelato cross. And it was it definitely, I, it was one of the ones that I think really <laughs> fucking kind of, what do you do? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, you need him to come here and light it for you or something? Oh no. What's going on? Anyway, please, keep going. Please keep going. going. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I mean, as far as how it grows, it's nice and small. It works really well in uh, stack systems, and I think they did a good job with uh, with this selection. But yeah, Julian was the the breeder on all that, and it's funny because I, at that time, I remember being really like, dude, I wouldn't grow anything with that just because it was so pop. It was becoming so popular, and but they really chased. You can really see the division like in, in THC sort of selection when I left around two thousand and. 10, 11 is about exactly the time when they really started to focus more on, it's funny, they focused on American genetics that were hyped up now, whereas my original concept was always to bring American genetics to Europe because that was why I already knew that they had been <coughs> pre-selected by my friends or by whoever had, you know, if it didn't, if it wasn't good, it wasn't selling, you know what I mean? People just didn't waste their energy or time because everything was so precious, right? So if you had a small room with Four to six oh. lights. You're not going to grow a bunch of shit that doesn't get you high. Get right? you nuggy, nuggy. We got someone on the line here. Holy moly! Somebody's Hold on, let's see coming if it's through. Hello. Yo yo. Hey. Oh look, it's you. Hey, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? And turn your your volume on. We can't hear a word you're saying. See the little red thing that says you're muted. That's because you're muted. Oh. You turn that off. All right. Hold on. There we go. All right. Don't hey, have, guys. Uh, my name's Chris Guerrero. I'm from the uh, Guerrero Grow Show. Ah. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, he's showing his show. face. This, you're showing. actually, you're going to show you. After all of it, <laughs> look at that. Yes. Hey. Oh, uh, hey, here man, we go. I, I, yes. Can we play uh, the Rocky uh, theme, Mark, please? Da, da, da. Yeah, do yeah, it. Come Rocky. on, Rocky theme, on. something like that. He's yes. finally on the show. Guerrero. Welcome. Guerrero. He well, right yeah, on. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Join us. Tell us how much you yes. hate us. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I, no, I don't. I don't even. I'm new to the cannabis scene. I've only been 
doing this for about four or five years, been oh, you're in the thing. And then I got into a future canvas project and then did a show there for a while. And I didn't know who you guys were. And then I learned about you guys. I learned who I learned who Adam Dunn was. I learned that he made the, the super sour sage. Um, so, or the sour sage. So Close enough. I knew that. Yeah, you're in the right, so, the, yeah, we're in the right zone yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so that's what I learned about, uh, wait, what'd you learn about know. all the stuff I did? Oh, you didn't learn. Yeah. Dave, you just learned you're a whiny <laughs> bitch. I know you're bitch. his, I know you're his Robin. So, <laughs> so, Hey, I haven't worn those shorts since, well, yes. Well, we were in Amsterdam and, yeah, and yeah, we, we, don't, we promised we wouldn't talk about that, but moving on. Yes. Okay. How's, yes. Yes. How's, how's Guerrero's world going? Good. Good. I'm I'm doing things on my own now. I'm not with FCP anymore, mm -hmm. so I'm doing it on myself. I'm building my own channel. Uh, this is the second channel I built. The FCP three was the first channel I built, and now I'm doing my own channel. Uh, so it's it's growing. You have any problem it's, doing it's Danko show next week? <laughs> no, two weeks. Okay, I, I, two weeks. Two, no, two I weeks. Have no problems you. doing anybody's show. Everybody's everybody's welcome on my show. You guys are welcome on my show. You guys are part of the community. I might, you know, troll you guys a little bit, but it's all in fun and just, you know, <laughs> oh, that's all right. You're not but some of us have, are really thin, have thin skin. Oh, like, really? Dave, Dave cried. Dave offended. cried for days. I when he went. Yeah, like, yeah. He, days. He's like I can't believe he trolled us. Yeah, like that. that was just. <laughs> We he, have drops we can't do because of Dave. I know. Right. You have one <laughs> fucking drop, motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it, motherfucker. Play it. You <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. You, Dave? So, are you, so where are you based out of anyway? Are you in the West Coast? Or you um, Sacramento, California. Uh, speaking of the sack, we were talking sack yes. earlier. Do they have pickle fried Hot dogs? That's no, no, no. Uh, we don't, it's we, not a real sack. No. What kind of sack is that? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Landlady keeps making these throw-up faces at me, and I don't have my glasses on, but I can tell that's what she's doing. And I'm gonna hurl if you do that. Don't make me do that. That it was a culinary masterpiece. Okay, whoever thought that up, hollowing out a pickle. To put a hot Dude, you dog need to in go it. to more. See? You need to go to more fucking like county fairs or See, something and get some funnel me, cake though. or something because you'd be all. What is this funnel cake they speak of? I would. Uh, I would. I'm from New York. I know, we called it oh, Zeppelis. Oh, I would. Funnel, I would funnel <laughs> out the pickle and put a mozzarella cheese stick in there and then oh, deep fry it. Shit. See, look at you, you. fucking Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> Who would do that? Why would? <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking this whole but, stuff but what pickle I'm, but concept. But what I'm seeing you do is like more like squeeze like Velveeta into a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> and then deep fried, deep fried Velveeta pickle. It sounds more like yeah. No, the yeah. oil would come out of it. Oh. It would explode. It would explode. It would explode. Oh. Yeah. Or it would just melt no, out of it. Oh. Heaven, he's about to need. He needs privacy. <laughs> You need to uh, take. He need, on, you I both gotta, of you guys yeah, need to leave. Gotta, this can't. He not with him in the room right now. It's it might not be safe. So what are you smoking on over there in uh, Sac Town? He was talking to you, Guerrero. Oh, he's he's he's, he's okay. So yeah, I muted because I was coughing. Uh, on my show, I cough a lot, and people make fun of me for that. I'm oh. constantly. Same with Dave. Coughing. You and Dave have some. You guys <laughs> you, should do a show guys. together. Two guys yeah. coughing. <laughs> Two coughing yeah, guys. Just, yeah. That's the joke over there. But I'm smoking obsolete orange cookies into guava QA okay. or cube. Why are you coughing so much? At the COPD? Uh, it, well, well, guava. If you think about it. Orange cookies is very, very uh, lung clearing. Oh, you, that's your story? So, You're going with that? That's my story. That's my story. I'm scientifically speaking, it's very lung clearing. Yes. Yes. Expe yes. Ex it's an expectorant, right? It's got a bit more expectorant qualities. Yeah, man. Antihistamine. It's like an antihistamine in the fucking weed over here. Yes. Uh, my friend likes to say he's allergic to it. Hmm. Uh, I mean, there's there's definitely weed that pe some people like break out on and shit like that not so much from smoking him i can't see the alerts that way but there's yeah. certain people that get like certain strains you're sure that's strain related and not what they were putting on it the pesticides no. and all that shit no, it's strain. i've seen where people have it on like it doesn't bother them until week five and on week five they're like fuck it i can't even touch the plants anymore because everything starts to harden up a little bit Whoa. and change weird and then just like reaching over the plants he'll get like Oh, that happened to Jonah. He he doesn't harvest of, anymore. Anybody who's around, and that's the funny thing. I'm like always 
surprised, but it's like people who, if you're around a lot of weed at a certain point, you might, it might could happen. And that's like, that's like a nightmare. That sounds like a nightmare. Hey, like, before yeah. we forget, can we make sure to mention to HR to put a compliment in Mark's file for knowing that three is in the middle of two and four? He did good. Okay. I know. We got to yeah. give him a gold star. I mean, He's getting a gold star by the end of the day for okay. sure good. on the wall. I mean, for sure. What did you think of that, Guerrero, when he pointed out that three was in the middle of two and four? Were you just really impressed? I mean, you're like I was very impressed. I'm staff. I'm not very good with math either. That's why I married an accountant. You were like, yeah. damn so it, she does all the accounting for me. me. For a non-grower like myself, you know, that's pretty good for me to know how numbers are sequenced and all. Hello, HR. Look at Tops yes. taking back his stuff. Oh, you, to put oh, that back. It's all empty. It's all you like empty. dabs too? You uh, doing you smoking out. dabs there? Yeah. yeah, these are empties right here. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention, Guerrero. Where are you? What state are you in? Sacramento, California. Oh, Sacramento, geez. California. Do you know where Sac Sacramento is? How many Sacramentos are there? Uh, it's not like Springfield uh, or something. Where you're like, I oh, didn't know that the Sac was here in Denver either until Mark made the ball comment. Mm -hmm. It's all yeah. Sacs today. You know. Everything's about Sacs. It's yeah. a Sac show. Yeah. It's a very Sacky. Let's go, Rangers. Mm. There's the party That's guy. That's not good. Yeah. I, mean, I, like that. I, was, I was showing everybody yes. my keychain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a keychain. What, the big dildo on your keychain? Oh, yeah. no, no. I only take that to the Double donger? A double donger on your keychain? Oh, yeah, baby. No, this one. Look how excited he is. Um, I've had it since 1983. Okay. And what is it? It's a New York Rangers keychain. Oh, okay. Oh, good, dude. Tops, Tops has a set of testicles. That's very nice. That's good. <laughs> it finally came in handy. Like, if yeah. you had a 1976 Flyers one, that'd be cool. Dave Brown. Flyers. What? Can you bring us some pretzels next time, please? Please. Why, why didn't you stock up for us beforehand? Oh, Did yeah. you know he told me that you were coming down to pick up pretzels for us? You came into the studio with a Big fucking bag. I had told Adam about it beforehand. We were like, oh, fuck, we're going to have pretzels. You leave during the show. With the pretzels. With Afterwards, pretzels. we're With like, where pretzels. are the pretzels that Tops left for us? Can you pass the cheese no. creams? No. Pass no. no, no, no. There were no pretzels left. I we had a great... Them all. As you can tell, it really affected Dave. I yeah. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell. Uh, my my pretzel that day was delicious, so thank mm. you. I appreciate it. I saw you eating it, so I figured there's no way you would feed... Mark, well, Mark and not the talent yeah, on the show, Adam show. and I. You can't really eat you pretzels know? on. It's not a good. It's not really good. <laughs> I'm just so not talented <laughs> over <food>. here. <laughs> You're the most talented of all of us. He, he, uh, he, seriously, he, when was the last time you guys went to the mall or I done anything like that and bought pretzels or bought a, a hot pretzel? I, that's oh. not something we well, do here. No, no, no. Uh, no, we have a place here called the Pretzelry. Yeah. And it's actually got very authentic Philadelphia style oh, yeah. pretzels. On um, point. Here in Colorado, which makes them extra special, of course. Extra special. I mean, if you're in Philadelphia, it's not that special. I mean, special. this guy's about to go travel to Germany to go see how pretzels yes, are made. Yes, but if you're there. really into pretzels, like this guy is. <laughs> That's crazy. Not just <laughs> and Germany. Dave. And Dave. Yeah. yeah. I'm just crazy. Dave loves pretzels. You know. Yeah, I where, do. where do they? So they're they're Bavarian, I assume. Is that where yeah, they're? they're it's it's a ba Philadelphia pretzels are some type of Bavarian pretzel, but from the immigrants who came to there and lived. There. It's the way they make them, and they're braided. I like that. And I like because of a size together. constraint. Yeah, they they could only have a certain size of a grill or a oven. oven or something like that. So they push scrunch them all together, and that's how the the Philadelphia. Really? That's what was made. I know. My I, son and I used to drive hate. to Philly all the time. Well, they're, they're convenient because you can hang them on a hook too, right? A little hook, hook action. A little whoosh, whoosh. The last right. good pretzel I had they was the at hook, the hookery, the Renaissance Festival. Oh, really? Yeah, because they got the guy walking around with the pretzel, and you're like, "Give me pretzel." Yes. Yeah. Oh. And they have pickles there too. They're oh just my not god. Fried. Oh my. God. Or cored out. Have you ever had rosin dogs on your show, Guerrero? This um, whole muting and unmuting thing can, has you can, to, you can just leave yourself off mute. Yeah, yeah, you no, I'm, I'm, I don't want coughing in ears. Just like everybody always makes fun of me for doing so. Oh, yeah. so you know what? How, Get how, used to people making fun of you. How Look can at my you. listeners make fun of you if you don't yeah. cough into the mic? You yeah. gotta, you gotta at least your first it. your first mistake is listening to these people in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, no, they're relentless. I was Especially asking, uh, J5420. He's he's very relentless. That guy's a 
if you ever watch anything with him, he has a baseball card for his picture. So he yeah, and then he starts and it's a really good one too. And he starts crumpling it and it starts crumpling. So yeah, so yeah, they, these guys were relentless on on me. Guerrero, uh, oh, Guerrero. Wait, don't worry, we're, we're not gonna. My friend told me I could come pick up some hash because I wanted some hash one Friday. Okay. Yes. And and he said, I said, well, where are you going to be? He says, I'll be in Denver Friday. I said, can I meet up with you? He said, sure. Where are we going to meet? Yes. He gives me the address. Okay. It's at his, yes. pl- it's, it's his studio. I just wanted to pick up hash. He says, no, 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 no. Sit down and just pretend we're talking on the phone because we have long phone conversations. And so I sit down and I talk with him and I give him a can of DJC, which is the weed they put my face on in Boulder at 14er. And within 19 seconds of that, somebody left an indelible comment in that episode on YouTube that says, yeah, that's what you want, your face on a can of shitty weed. So you better get used to it. If you're going to allow yourself to be put out there, you're going to have haters. And I think Dave's an expert. Uh, Dave's an expert. Oh, yeah, expert. I know. I've been doing this for two years now, too. I got uh, – so my show is Monday through Friday – uh, 9.30 wow. to 12.30 p.m. on the Pacific Coast. And um, I do it Monday. Yeah, so I've been doing it, and I did eight-hour shows. So, like, wow. yeah. Like every day? That's I've, like a third of your life. That's a bit too long. Yeah, too yeah. Much. well, I'm putting, I'm putting in the work. You guys have been doing it for a long time. I just Yeah, but even we don't do so. that. I would oh, no, whine. We figured out a long time ago. <laughs> Once a week? Way more than enough. If you do more than that, you might. You might First do. off, hold on a sec. Do, you must do, you do all your board and everything like that and stuff because Adam and I are very unelectronical. Everything, his son got all his skills like that, and we have Mark. So... You need a mark. You we need a mark for yeah. sure. You should get one. He, he really works. Is. Yeah. You should get a mark if you can because they're convenient. See, I was born in 77, so I'm oh, your baby. at the top of the <laughs> oh, what a baby. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I've been seeing C-C, the C-C. electronics go and everything, so I've been trying to keep up with them, but not so much that I'm obsessed I don't want to be obsessed with the. Well, the key is he doesn't want to so. be here on Friday for a few hours. <laughs> That's less than obsessed. So that, there's no than way obsessed. he's coming in more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but but if you get one, right? You just gotta like be nice to him a little bit once right. in a while. Not too often though, because if you're really nice to him, then they get really like fucking difficult. And That's don't right. start on time. Yeah, never start on time. Yep. Right. That's another. No, I, they no. they know. I know. <laughs> Cough into the mic. Yeah, Cough yeah, yeah, right yeah. into the mic. Make sure it's into the mic, not next to the mic. Don't don't, don't think that people sideways. don't want to hear it. They want to hear your coughing. Don't definitely don't oh, get no. the cough button that only cost ten dollars. Oh yeah, and installed. Yeah, yeah Don't do was, that. No, it was like five hundred bucks, dude. It was not five hundred. You motherfucker. We looked into it. It was ten dollars. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think when I looked for him, it was a long time ago. Yeah, it, it was, when in nineteen seventy six. Yeah. The skills. You know, they've seventy seven. was one year. Before born? he was yeah. born, I mean, so the year Guerrero was born, you were looking for cough mics, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cough mics. and they're five hundred bucks a piece. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And do you have guests, or do you, can you just stream of consciousness? Oh yeah, for... I, I've talked to j- just about almost everybody you guys have talked to. I oh, to, so. catching up quick. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to name yeah, a few yeah. of so them like, so we can ban yeah, them from no, the no. show? <laughs> like I've, yeah, I've talked to uh, Ed Rosenthal. Oh, he's not coming I've on anymore. To, uh, I, I haven't really, I haven't really tried to go after Cheech and Chong or any of them yet, but like uh, I've had uh, Mark put uh, a call Matt in to Tommy right Rumble now. Seeds Tell him company. don't take Guerrero's I call had, at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was I've, just I've talking talked over to you. Mila, the hash queen. I've talked to uh, I, I, I um, a lot of people that were over at the Emerald Cup. I've interviewed. Um, also, they've come on to my show. Uh, I've had what the Bubble Man on there. I've had uh, uh, all like if if they're breeders, I have them come on. Nice. So because basically, our entire we're a community format. show. We're a community <laughs> show. So as a gardening cannabis community show, uh, we and everybody's welcome. I just put the link out there. This is how my show is every single day, just like this. With just your head the way and you that guys picture above you. The link out. Yeah. I just put the link out. Everybody comes on. Whoever wants to come on. Oh, we stole your format on. today, is what you're saying. <laughs> I, I should, he's like, wait a minute, that's my, that's my shit. No, no, right yeah, yeah. I, I'm the guy with no guests. 
damn it. No. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I find <laughs> because everybody, idea. listen, it's guys, right. everybody's heard everybody's story yeah, and yeah. everything. I don't care. I don't care about how you grow. I don't want you to come on to my show and talk about how you grow because everybody, nobody cares how you grow. You know why? Because they're going to do it with themselves yeah. the way they've been doing it. They don't care how you grow. Yeah. You know, they're just asking just to, you know, whatever, you know, just to talk about something. Hmm. Well, but I want to talk to you about normal stuff. I just want to talk to you like we're all fucking smoking and hanging out and, and that's all I want to talk. Oh, so your uh, show's more like a lifestyle type of thing rather than uh, actual growing. What are you wearing right now? Well, stuff. well, we we are. You touch on that stuff. We, I mean, we what, did the same. That? I know we did the same. We're like you know, the whole thing is you can't if you if you if you pigeonhole yourself and you become a grow like just only grow. It gets like, and that's what's funny is we get it in our chat. We're like, "Well, you're not talking about weed," and it's like, "Well, we can't talk about weed all the time. It has to be has to be a little bit more flexible than that because if you get stuck in that zone, it's like you know." You can only talk about nutrients and the pH levels of yeah, the soil gets, for gets, so long. You know, what I mean? you know yeah. and, I, and I've seen people try, and it works to a point, but you're also kind of you know you're just limiting yourself. Sure. I mean, no, we have guests like booked in the future, which is unheard of around here. We never usually do that. That's but, crazy. You know, that's weird. that's of. crazy. So our deal is we don't really. <laughs> We're kind of like you. We don't know what's going to happen, but I usually like try to pull something out of my ass last second, and then like boom. Four o'clock oh, in the morning on four o'clock in the morning on a Thursday, I'll be like, "Oh, dude, now I know what to do." <laughs> we'll Wait a minute, you got to give yourself show. more credit than that. We have a magic show. This is the first time since yeah. you and I did this together that right. we've ever not been able to get a guest in. You know, to have. I'm sorry, to have it on the card the night before. Well, that's the thing because what happens is before it's been that, a minute, yeah, be- before that. Yeah. Before that, though, when I was like trying to plan it, and this is this is something that you'll probably run into, is people don't take your time as seriously as they should. So, right. so they'd be like, you know what? Let's, can we do it later? And since we're doing it live, it's always like, dude, I can't, I put you on the fucking fly. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to now remake. But that's it. why. That's and, exactly and so, why. And so I stopped making flyers early because of that, yep. because it happened so many times. And I'd be like, God damn it, this doesn't. Now it doesn't make sense, and I have to redo it anyway. Oh, you should see us do a party invite. And so I just end <laughs> up doing nineteen it. revisions. I end up doing it on Thursday night, and like this was a good example this week because I had already scheduled with. Um, Cassandra from Sweetgrass out of uh, Massachusetts, who's going to be on next week. Mm -hmm. And she's, but then she's going to a wedding and and she was like trying to squeeze it in in a hotel room between a wedding. I was just like, you know what? Don't worry about it. You go do your wedding and come to me next week. We'll make it work. But it was like, God damn it. Now I don't have a show, you know? So it was a classic, classic moment. But you'll, but now we have to see that. And then we put out the beacon, like the bat signal, and he's like, no guests, I'm there. <laughs> well, put your show's link in the chat. You'll get at least, you know, five or six more viewers, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, they're already in there. They all know us. They're, yeah. they, we have a lot of Dude, there's there. only so many people that watch this. Oh, uh, we've heard about so you. People. Don't you worry. We got... Oh, yeah. No, no, our no, spies told so us people. all about no, you. No, no, no. No, no. There's, there's so, only so many people. If you think about how many people watch and you see how many people watch... There's only probably about 1,600 people to 2,000 people that actually watch that are like us. That are like us. You mean have no lives outside what we do on the radio? Just talk about weed. Hey, no, 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 no. I'm saying talk about we love weed this much that we're, we're talking about it. We're, we're in the lifestyle of it. There's only probably, say, worldwide. And then there's some half-ass people are about 10,000 half assery ones that are kind oh, of like dipping, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got half dipping of them their are, toe into it. There, there's a couple and here. Stuff. Yeah. A couple half Do you know who yeah, just yeah. walked into the studio, Guerrero? <laughs> Mr. Full Assery. Mr. X. Mr. Full Assery we, himself. Mr. X. No we half. can't even say anything about what he does. No half assery. Who he him. is. We just refer to him as a letter. Yeah, he's that That's kind it. of guy. He's nice. that, we've been out of the studio so much, I think he put on a pound or two. He's been Whoa. eating a ton of ribs. Now over. he's eating the candy. <laughs> Normally, he would have at least brought us something to smoke. He's always proud of these extractions, but he's a Puffco guy, unfortunately. He's like, you want a dab of something? Like, and he really is the BHO guy. That was his shit. What? You have rosin too? Oh, get the fuck out of here. Somebody left it and you just picked it up? No. You made it? Holy shit. Is that your e-nail? So I'm pretty there? sure now Landlady's nice. been here for a full fucking hour 
She could have sat down. She did nothing. She just stands there laughing at me. You know, oh, she's going to take a dab <laughs> from that? Yeah, while she's laughing at you. Oh. It's kind of good. It's kind of double. Normally, I have to date a woman two or three times before they really laugh out loud at me. You know, mm. that's, but, you know, knowing the landlady, nope, she just laughs at me. Yeah. What do you got? You didn't Don't have to throw take your it. pants down to do that. Oh, they they laugh at me long before that happens. No. What? <laughs> Everybody's got sugar now. It's like sugar maniacs all of a sudden. Yeah, dude, sugar. Why? Sugar, sugar, sugar. Sugar, sugar. Adam's vegan. Sorry. Mm. No. I can't even read these ingredients. No. I don't want this. It looks bad. My wife's vegetarian. Uh, my wife was vegan, oh, but... I like how he says it with such that. disdain. He says it was a, my wife. But you're not, obviously. With, no. With the, uh, no, okay, fine. I didn't get it past the... <laughs> Uh, I, well, I'm just glad she's eating uh, dairy products again. Um, it was. I don't get me wrong. I love almond milk, and I love almond milk in my cereal. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not I love fan. regular ice cream. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not sorry. Big, I'm a, I'm almond not. milk actually raises has a higher glycemic index than than almond, all those nut milk. milks are swag, dude. Yeah. They're all full of crap. Right. It's like, all processed as swag. Yeah. And when I was in Europe, that was one thing again. Like the food was so good, quality yes. wise, that it was like. Especially in Greece and stuff. Did I'd you be eat like, meat there? No, I didn't eat meat. <laughs> but it, just in general, everything was like real. Even like the bread. Oh, look at this. It's got you have five a dab ingredients. X? Oh. What are you dabbing out of? What you smoking out of? Ooh, nope. he's, he doesn't want to show us. Oh, no, oh it's a torch. He's got his email. Oh, an email. Yeah. Oh, we had uh, Ur Electric as an, uh, one of our original advertisers right, you reaching way back well because way mark back machine. way back machine <laughs> because of we'd, mark, yes yeah, we'd, we'd be in the mean. middle of jiving we're talking and all of a sudden you hear yeah, and sick. mark would have the torch right near his microphone yeah 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 because he didn't have an off switch <laughs> do one of these. And, yeah yeah and yeah, so we ended doing? that real fucking quick I'm yeah we'll put my torch right now you oh yeah but yeah. now but you can turn your mic off nope what no, I'll leave it on. That was good. Uh, yeah, that's how this whole. I, I'm dabbing on. Uh, so I pressed my own stuff, and that was uh, that was uh, uh, James Loud's uh, 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 PCK into the ZBX backcross. Hmm. Were you able Shout to name to all the people? So in James's uh, post when he said, "Can you tell?" Who the people are in this photo, and bonus points if you know what restaurant we're eating in in Amsterdam. It was like 15 years ago. No, There's a young Ed, okay. a younger Mila, uh-huh. and I, I didn't. I, I'm thinking, you know, he's probably going to want to know who that arm is. I didn't know who the arm was. It was Soma, um, I but I didn't know. Was there a dreadlock hanging off of it? I think so. Okay, well then you would. Yeah. So I Chris, known that. that rosin you're pressing. How, are you, is it flower rosin or are you uh, making? Okay, you're doing flower rosin. Okay. Are you right. muted That's again because you don't want to cough. Well, so now you no, no, hand signals. Uh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was. I was we just yeah. third. Uh, so, so yes, I'm not. I'm not rich, so sure. I don't have a rosin press. We heard you. Uh, we so heard, I have a. We heard you were really rich. I, no, 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 no. We had heard. No, no. no, 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 no. I have. I have uh, something that was given to me that was probably from uh, from Alibaba. Uh, press uh, rosin okay. press that's from Alibaba. It's like the one with the green. The 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 one that has the green writing on it and stuff. So okay. what I have to do is I have to literally dance with it to to press rosin. I have to put it very in the center, put about a half ounce in the middle, you know, with the rosin bags and everything. You know, mm-hmm. I do the do the bottle tech and everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, I I've done it over thirty or forty times now, so I'm better at it than I was at the beginning. But I learned you have to dance with it. You have to tip it over all the way to the side and it's shake rich. it. Hit it with a, Jeez, with a, 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 a hammer. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and you're shaking it, and you're trying to get it out of there. You're just wow. You Jesus, know, technique, going at that's it. That's the technique. Yeah, yeah. The Give old, me that. You need new equipment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need to. Yeah, you need to trash that Alibaba shit. We need to upgrade. We need to upgrade. Yeah. You Should totally be less shaky, yeah, yeah. more <laughs> dialing in, you know. Just Somebody just texted me. It said, "Ask Guerrero about when he said Adam grows mids." Oh, what's uh, up with I, that? I, I I have no idea <laughs> if he does this. <laughs> I'm willing to try his weed. You know, I, I'm I'm always willing to try people's weed. And the quote um, where I, he said, "You said bubblegum tastes like shit." That was not you. 
No, wait. No, uh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Bubble gum, wait. The best bubble gum I ever had came from uh, Monterey County. That was the best bubble gum I ever had. And it was like little round buds that were like, and this was in 1999. And they were like little round buds that were had pink hairs on them. It looked like pink hairs, and they're little tiny round buds. That I remember. So, and that was some of the best weed I've ever smoked. All right, wait a second. Uh, You're allowed back on. Okay, yeah. we, we were going to lose your number. So, way to save that one. Good, good. No, I. I and, uh, <laughs> but I've never. I'm sorry, Adam. I don't think I've smoked your uh, your cannabis yet, but I can't wait to uh, to smoke it. If you give me some of your gear of some of your your sour sage, uh, I'll, I will definitely grow it and let you know oh. how I feel about it. Ladies and Sounds gentlemen, good. from um, mothballs coming into play right now, Stunden Glass. So 90, 99 would be a good a good bubble gum year because you're kind of like it's all when it was all in this first this first years that everything's always. Uh, got the vigor and stuff so good good chance Finkelstein adds that Monterey County also has good jack cheese <laughs> like we're talking about real jack <laughs> I think like so Monterey yeah, yeah. are we talking about real jack cheese or <laughs> of course we are <laughs> Are we talking about, are we talking about cross? Come on, you didn't get Monterey Jack. Come on, but oh, oh, Jesus bum. Christ! Oh, hit your bong again. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me take another dab for that yeah. one. You know what's really? funny? I didn't even get it until you said that. Oh, <laughs> yes. Because I was thinking, is he talking about the weed or is he talking about? Because Jack Cheese is like yeah, uh, Jack Cheese. Yeah, that's a, guy, that's a double, double. That's a double weed. We've been asking right. you to come on know. for the past hour. You had other plans, obviously. She thinks it's Vinny only. Then he set a microphone up for you. Yeah, you're all set up. Yeah, you have a mic and everything. Well, you gotta, you gotta, then he can, he can stay for longer. She's here for longer. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. To collect an, a rent payment. Oh, yeah, because look what day it is. It's the last fucking Friday of the month. So guess Land who's lady. here? We haven't even gotten close to the first. It's already, we have a whole weekend. How much do we owe her? Big, big time, big time. I want to go to Spain next year. Oh, yeah, you should. Yeah. Me I too. Am. You'd fit in perfect. Look at her. Do you, you want to go to that? Did Mark, you say that, Mark? Would, Let's go. How would, you would never want to take off that amount of time from Wait, work. what are you talking about to me? To Dirty Spain. Oh, work. that was Guerrero saying that. Oh, you said that. me. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't even on here. Only because Sorry, I'm half Mexican. It sounded like your voice. Hi, oh. Guerrero. Do you speak Spanish? Hello. Uh, un poquito. Um, no, not that much. Mark, my, wow. he said a little. <laughs> Oh, thanks, dude. Okay. Thanks Mark, for translating. <laughs> Dave, Mark, Mark almost got that. Dave knows the most Spanish here. <laughs> at all of us. Well, my dad's my dad uh my dad was uh uh was made fun of when he was younger uh for Just speaking like Spanish being that yeah, for his first language. So he didn't want that me to go through that. So he didn't teach well, he me fucked Spanish. Up. He fucked that's up. exactly yeah. how my family was. That's my grandmother how my, wouldn't yeah. teach oh, us. You got three but it's mostly weird. so she could talk shit about us too. She used to Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, for reals, I think that was the real reason. Yeah, don't teach the kids how to now we can talk but about But the rest of the family thinks I'm stupid because I don't speak Spanish. So like every time we go down to Texas and visit the rest of the family, they're like Oh, you don't speak Spanish? And then you feel extra. Well, why don't you say, I blame my parents. Yeah, blame them. They're, they're, I they're, blame they're, myself. I could learn Spanish if I wanted to. I, I me just too. Don't I don't, yeah, I don't blame them. That sounds I, smart. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I did a little bit. Cabeza. I don't even read books. I don't read books. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a Nuggets game on tonight? Yeah, oh, 7 great. o'clock. Wow, so, so we better hurry up. Around Patreon time, it'll be, you know, <laughs> cooking. So you really won't be paying attention. It's a good game Should tonight, too. I send too. you everything now before, before you don't care? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you start sending stuff over. <laughs> Who's playing? Uh, it's the Denver Nuggets versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Okay. One of their five matchups this year. That's exciting. Okay, I know, yeah. That's very I exciting. You. I know you love the. I, I know you love the basketball. <laughs> That's I know right. You love the basketball. I'm a Kings fan. <laughs> I heard you earlier. Really, you jersey wearing motherfucker. All his life. That's right. I've never painted my face though. <laughs> I did hear that. I was. I was going to say. I swear to God, I saw picture. a photo nah, of you. I don't like painting I look, my face. Come on. I don't like stuff on my face like that. I've seen you like, now. I love that Adam <laughs> said. In my mind, I've seen both of your like, faces who painted. Who are you kidding, Mark? <laughs> I just. I don't like not being able to rub my eyes and all that. You know, like yeah. That guy. Look at him. You for sure Look seem him. like you have the energy of a face painter. Yeah, you're totally face I mean, painter. Like your face paint energy all the way all day. <laughs> 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 
for the t- you guys know me. I would want to draw attention to myself. I would want people to look at me. I could barely do this because we look at us. I don't, I know. If I don't look at me, I do perfectly fine. If I focus on you guys, I. That's right. I don't want to think of the tens of people out there listening. You know, <laughs> all ten of them. I know they could all round get up. Hit together. that like button, they ten of you. Hit, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if ten of you hit the like button, we right? Know if you really think Dave's a cop, hit the like button. Ooh, wow, I can't fuck, believe 7, you would say that. People hit it at the same time. I'm trying. I'm doing it for the likes of the show. Lo- You're doing it for the young. Hey, I, I love the tens. I love you, all tens of you. Yeah. I love all tens of you. Yes. Thank no, you. For if I'd have had my way, I would have been a nine one one operator back in ninety three. Okay. But like because they, I had, I had to admit there were way too many people that knew I smoked grass. Someone was going to say something, and then I would have just got in trouble for he just lying. Said grass guys. So I mean, come on. We're trying to. That get means away. he's a cop. We're trying to get away from the cop shit, <laughs> and now you're talking. Oh, about look grass. at tops. You just took a whole fucking you box. You have a box. What's you have mean? a whole box. You just took the box. We saw you steal it. Oh, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> And I would have been a nine one one operator, but they said that they that, that was a you. no because no because I told I said I smoked grass before Maybe. before uh, the applying, and when I applied oh, for this job, I stopped smoking. No, that's the worst answer you could have ever given them. Yeah, I was gonna say, why didn't you just lie like normal nope, person? I couldn't do what it. What on earth? I couldn't do it. He thought I would have been so nervous. He I that they like would think, well, this guy is so honest. That we need him. We need him. Um, this is why a, couldn't they just hire me because I was qualified to do the job? There were like six hundred and fifty people applied woman, for yeah, it. No. Six hundred fifty people applied for one job. There were two of us left, me and someone else who didn't who, who smoked. Took weed, eleven months. Who probably smoked weed before they came down that right. day and said, "I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't smoke no, weed. What are you right. crazy?" And then, and then they got it. I would have been really good at that job. <laughs> really, you I think you're good there. at what you do. You could still be there. No, I You can't. seem good at what you do. No? I, 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 I'm you have fine right now. You're tired. You'd be of yeah. dealing with horrible people yeah. having serious situations. Yeah. Your brain, <laughs> you, would have, you would have absorbed It would have broken that. me. Oh, you've done. You'd have been, you'd been like a skinny... Ah. You're probably right. I probably would have liked it for a few weeks, and then I would have said, this isn't for me. That would have been a quite intense job. But we did. I have a friend who actually does that, and it is intense. Well, just we didn't. You didn't get as far as I got through the program without doing calls. They had would ha- you went through calls. It wasn't like they waited to see and then they would train you. You you had to go through this with people. You I, you were on the phone with people screaming, and you heard gunshots, and it was, you know, they did everything they could to make it sound like the real thing. It was a, uh, I I would have been good for a little while. Yeah. But you're right. I probably would have burnt out real quick. That would have been the worst quick. job ever. That's like getting a, a job working for Google, having to look at fucking <laughs> crazy images all day. You'd be like burned out. Or so corn cool. out pickles for hot dogs. Corn oh, yeah. out. Oh, yeah. You'd be the pickle corn. Yeah. Oh, so first I was corn out pickles. And then I was in certain Telly hot dogs. used to do that job. He's here now, so let's not talk about it. I know. That, look okay? at him. He's sad. He's, he's do you want to talk? you want to come on and talk about when you used to core pickles and yeah. insert hot dogs? Oh, you never got to the inserting of the hot dogs. You're only a pickle core. Yeah. The technology wasn't one of the them, worst but... jobs. I think is uh, I knew somebody that did the video box. Uh, of, what is a blockbuster video box? The guy that dances out front in the summer oh, and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And this, yes, oh my God, the old man. VHS tape they used to I dance mean, around out there. Wow. That, yes. I mean, I used to work at Dairy Queen I when I was a kid, movie. and I would stand out there in the ice you cream You forgot cone. how to do it? Yeah. Hit the button. And That's that was it, right? really, really hard. And then once people knew it was me, my friends go. would come and mess with me, so that was a really hard job. It was a lot of fun, though. Vinny. You fucked up, dude. Vinny, they broke it. It's, it might be broken. I was looking Dave forward to hitting it. that. Dave broke Vinny. it. Vinny. I just turned it fucking on. I do it. It gives me a... Uh, oh, it says I does not like it. It says no. No fucking way. Yes. Vinny, <laughs> help. No fucking way. It actually says no fucking way in German. <laughs> I need to yeah. load yes. the dab for myself. Vinny, yeah, yeah, can you come help me? I know the response is <laughs> we've tried. I Multiple have, therapists have, have tried in a fault whole like gallery environment. Yeah. Yes. Look, watch. See, I hit that. Oh, I'm excited okay, for this, this training. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't get break. Oh, Dave uh, broke it. 
<laughs> I turn it till it clicks or something. Switch it around. Change the temperature. Maybe the temperature's off. I don't know. Dave, wow. Dave's been pushing things. Though. I have not been yeah, pushing he buttons. Was just like squirt, he was, he like was doing all sorts of stuff. Shit. Yeah. And he was, I don't yeah. know what the yeah, fuck he's doing. He dude. poured water on yeah, it. Yeah, he fucked it all up. I, I didn't do anything. Sprayed he's it with some stuff. As soon as hilarious. I turned it on, that that thing well, came up. All I know is that it was working before you had it. Yeah, Dave, so. you're 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 in trouble. <laughs> it's coming out of your pay. <laughs> it's coming out of my pay. <laughs> Give me some brisket, and, and then you can take it back. Chat says that Dave was a sign spinner before he got this gig. Oh, that's the truth. Yeah. Oh, I'm that's thinking that I would like to do something else career-wise. I'm just yeah, unsure rhythm. what I'm qualified to do. I feel very <sighs> unemployable because wow. I, I like to really just smoke weed and hang out with mm. my friends all day. Yeah. Wow. Well, there you go. Like you you're hired. You're hired. You got the job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're hired. This is literally all I want. That's to what do. I do. <laughs> um, you got to fly to a sack. I think <laughs> there's a job with those prerequisites in record store. <laughs> Record I'm seeing that I'm gonna yeah. have to. Oh, yeah. Then yeah. Hey. then you can, uh, you know, smoke weed at the okay. record shop every all day. day. Smoke that every actually day. Smoke is weed not a bad idea. Day. Also, ha- right. the idea of having to be somewhere every day feels quite daunting. Mm. So. so what? So you're doing your show for two hours? Or no, you said eight hours. Eight right? hours a day. It's not, it's not eight hours. A no, day. no, 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 no. I be prior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prior, um, I used to do a show uh, for eight hours a day. Perfect. That yeah. got too much. No way. Uh, then I would. I yeah, couldn't yeah, imagine. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine an eight-hour show a day would get over too much. Yeah, that's a lot yeah, of yeah, hours. Too- it's more like you're on. Oh, like yeah, that's, that's between ten and seven. <laughs> that's like real world or, shit. Look, I got it wrong. Oh, look at this. Hey, look, we got someone else we here. We got this. Whoop, 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 pull them up. Make them bigger. So I can see who the hell it is. Is that Mo? Or is that who is somebody else? Mojave. Mo! It is Mojo Rising. What's going on? thought it was. Can't, it, you're tiny. You're like a Turn your man. phone sideways. Sideways, Let's mic see. on. I'll Let's work on it here. Hold down. Come on. Get it to work. Oh, damn. I don't oh, know. he disappeared. <laughs> oh. I love it. Gen Xers. Woo! We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> we can do it. Hey, that's one of the things we do is we try to uh, teach one Gen Xer at a time technology on my show. Um, we we have back, to get bro. them on StreamYard, and it's a <laughs> very hard. We took three days for the last guy to get on. He had to figure it out. So, yeah, that's, yeah. that's funny. funny. Yeah, so. because we had at one point in time, we had someone that wanted us to switch to StreamYard, and I was like, I was like, I basically lose... 90% of the functionality that I have over here with OBS, you know, it's just really weird. So, uh, yeah, we just well, do Nobody's going to stretch OBS. for you anymore. Yeah. You're, you're done. We're, we're all done. We're nobody stretching. <laughs> no. Nobody's leaning. Yeah. You're not going to get her to lean over here. You already got Cabana I'm Boy over here. not going to lean over there. No one's <laughs> leaning. You already got Cabana Boy to light your <laughs> fucking joint for right oh. there and just Oh, plate. wait, there's a chick walking in. Uh oh. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, chicks are in the dude. room. Can't believe it. He calls you a cop. You call him a chick. <laughs> cop chick. What's her name, cutie? Come here. Mike Denver in the house. <laughs> Come on, sit down with us. No, he's not sitting down. Oh with yeah, us. Just we relax. need to some some, some verbal jousting. No, no, no. Just relax. you're gonna have to walk over here. I'm gonna hand you the. No, nobody's walking. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's walking nobody's talking huh. you're, you seem really high right now and also when you guys were on the show when you were out of town i have never seen you that high that he was, was the he first was just tired. That I really he was tired i was so tired that way. okay i was, I like, was high really i was Dave really was high, high. Okay. yeah I was bed. really high. <laughs> on drugs. Oh, yeah, he was like, nee, 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 nee. Yeah. oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, he was, nee, 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 nee. What? Well, <laughs> dude, isn't all high on drugs? It's I don't know what you're talking about, it's dude. Just, it's that Settle t- down, the bro. are like drugs. Why are you looking Schmiegel. at me like you did something bad? <laughs> I know. Look at you him. gave, a, you gave yourself up. You gave it up. I gave myself up. <laughs> yeah. The world knew. Oh, trust me, if the world only knew. If the world only knew. Actually, Alberto hit me up today and said that he... Uh, it, it was funny because it was like the classic where he it was. Show me the Bobo. No, he didn't say Bobo, but he said, hold on, let me see if I can find him. It was pretty funny because he's like. Uh, <laughs> Did he tell you I left? Uh, I definitely I left the Dab X. Oh, at Mo's the at the hotel. airport. Mo's, uh, he's here in Denver. Oh. And he's on a layover. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's the guy I told to come into the studio. I was like, come to the Sohai. Who, Mo? Yeah, he was in the chat. Oh. And he said, I'm. 
from Minnesota and I came to Denver. He's not from Minnesota. Mo is, you know, Mo is my buddy. Dude, Come I know. I know. I, I didn't know. Mo. I didn't realize that is the that was Mo, him. That is the Mo that is mentioned. In yeah. It's like the most famous Mo of all the Mo's. I besides Mo, Larry, and Curly. Yeah, pretty dude. much my most famous Mo. That's for sure. Yeah, dude. Anyway, so... Anyways, come, if, he, if he tries to come back in, make sure you do it. Hey, I got it right here. I'm I'm ready to go on it. <laughs> I'm handing it to you. I've never smoked out of one of those. How do you guys like it? Does it make this smoke to, stale it's if you're smoking flour? It what? sounds like it smells oh. like this needs to be cleaned. None of us want to do flour out of it because yeah, we know it's going to be flour. a pain in the ass. I was so going to say, I think somebody did. It no. tastes like there's oh, so burnt you do flour dabs in it. Out of it. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're dabbing out of it. It's mm-hmm. so okay. good though. But it Makes really, more sense. But it works really good either way. I mean, if you <laughs> if you like smoking weed and you don't mind keeping it clean, it's like it also works great too. But it's uh, you know, it's uh, pretty much takes all the takes all the MacGyverness yeah. out of it. There you go. The all you don't have to get all crazy and nope. start smoking out of fucking plastic swag. So it's it's it good, hits good like ma- a fucking champ. Good materials. Yeah. Nice. And nice. so speaking of MTI, um, I found this reel today, and I was good, I was so it was like this was so perfect. It's a little baby that they're following a the little baby. Walking in the middle of a plane, shaking everyone's hand as he goes past. She's going nose hits. She's going straight nose hits now. Nosing Whoa. it. She's nosing it. She needs the nose adapter. <laughs> I love it. Nose later. The face mask. It's the nose oh, later. Yeah. Well, that's the new. Why don't we hook it up to a gas mask? A, f- a face mask would yeah. be a bad thing for yeah. that thing. I, I used to have one. No, it wouldn't be. I mean. Not for sanitary reasons or anything. No, like, it'd be gross. But it'd be We'd turp wipe it. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be so good and gross and horrible. It'd be like, okay, personal? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Just sit there and roll it. Danny Danko said that you should have heard me busting Dave's balls in Spain as... Ooh! I was <laughs> in Fuego. Sna- oh, he, he, he was out for it. Oh, was yeah. he? Danny, how do What's you like hard? it? Any, hey, any Danny, opportunity? Danny, it's not hard. And, <laughs> no, it was just basically, where's my dab X? I was going to ask, has the he gotten it or has he, yes, he get he to try it? Yes, he finally got one when he left. How do you like it, Danny? Hell yeah. I get so many compliments on this. I threw a party. So far, there's only been two people who have told me out of 500 that I've introduced it to that uh, we got, prefer yeah, we got, we the, the, the Puffco. Like I sent you, we okay. had the, one, the first and only real complaint that I've had yeah. was the other day, too. And, and they uh, resolved it. And it was resolved. And they just, it was used, again, it's like one of those... You might get a lemon out of 10,000 units or whatever. Who knows? But Mm -hmm. for the most part, I haven't had anybody with the same situation. They were like, wasn't working. There's no systemic problem. Like every atomizer is broken. They're going to help you. Yeah. That's kind of the biggest thing is. They said they had terrible customer customer service, service. which was kind of like, okay, that sucks. That's not been our experience. But we wrote to them and said, here's my email address. Please, I'll get you in touch with their sales director. And they, as soon as they wrote back, they were like, we got it resolved. Perfect. And in general, I think we, we, we kind of came to the conclusion that there was that perfect storm of the timing because we knew exactly who was where, when, and what, and who, who might not respond or right. would respond or how they would respond because that's always a, another thing. So, yep. yeah. But either way, good product. Um, First complaint we've heard, and heard. it was resolved. Heard. 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 And it's been two years. Okay. You know? No, yeah, I love mine. Mine is so great. And. I don't know that I'll ever. No, it was uh, fun in Europe to introduce people to it because, you know, they've most people aren't investing into gear as much as here. You know, I mean, like states is definitely more like it. People want the latest, greatest thing. It's been around a bit. You know. Oh, Roger made his presence known there. Puffco is spending a lot of money. You know, it's funny though. Oh, that was great. Was why he came into the booth with uh, when I was in the the other seed booth and I was hanging out and he rolled in. Did not have a Puffco on him. I was like very disappointed. Can't roll around without a Puffco. Right. Mr. Puffco. Yeah. And I'm sitting there doing huge dabs. He looks over at me. I just blew it straight at him. Uh. Did you ask if he wanted a dab? <laughs> kept blowing harder. This has a sesh mode. Yeah. And I just kept <laughs> <laughs> it, keeps, uh, it keeps going. It doesn't have a problem. No, but it did. Uh, I mean, it was great. Okay. We took some fucking giant rips. And uh, every single person that I bet was the right people who, you know, who appreciated it. Like, bam, they were, like, sold on it. Soma. Wow, man. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be... I'm on his show. He did a podcast. I'll be, that'll be coming out. So we'll be... I'll be... Sh- 
basically getting all his crew high. It was pretty funny. Oh, that's awesome. Send it. I don't, I don't think it hasn't I've ever come heard. Out. It hasn't come out I yet. know when it does. I don't think that I've ever heard that podcast. He has just Soma started. Has Soma has his own. Of course. I was like, Soma I don't think I've ever heard He this. has just started. He does it from the back of a taxi. Guess who was first? The Soma cast? Guess who was first? Of Guess course was. it was you. Uh, were you No, it wasn't me. I was very Who was it, Steve? No. Bear? Think worse. Well, not worse. but just He had Pinsky on. Just think like, oh, really? That was your first? AJ? Name? No. He's an uncle. Uncle Stoner? <laughs> first guest. Oh, but he followed me around. It was so funny. Squash off. Everywhere I went in Spain, I turned around there and he there he was. He's actually got into some pictures with me and Mila. And I, I have to, like, I had to crop him out. Really? really? He's like, yeah. All of a sudden you got an arm around you. You're like, what? I love him. What He's a, no, I, you know what? <laughs> you're like, what's going on? I, I dig I dig his uh, spirit of what he does. I just the, my only thing I would say is he just should hire a more energetic business person who can take care of um, details, okay. things like that, you know, and, th- and that would be it. The slightly important details. Yeah, those slightly the, important. The things that are important to making the whole squash off go off, mm-hmm. you know, and not just go squash off. go off. Go off. I mean, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. That definitely makes sense. <laughs> yes. But it was fun. It was like uh, they had a very good setup. They had Roadcaster. Now, is that the newest, latest? There's another. No, there's no, an update. Updated X Pro or something like that. There's a two. Uh, a two. Uh, that's what he had. Yeah, we he don't had have that. They had it. Nice, dude. It's nice. Why don't you see like, if he'll advertise on our show? He could advertise who? his podcast. Soma can advertise his podcast no. on our show. Pay us for advertising and drive no, no. business. Soma's got a, a bunch of dudes with their equipment. Doing his podcast, so he doesn't have to do anything. So there you go. Oh, right. he has a mark. So no, yeah, even, but even even less. Even less though. Yeah, yeah. less more. Less more. Less more than. Wow, know, right. it's pretty good. But no, very good. Uh, very good setup though, as far as like they had, it, you know, in his Soma's house. It's the same vibe. Same vibe as it always is. A yeah. mark. Snake is around his neck the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he kept forgetting that he had a snake around his neck. So during the interview, he'd be like. Oh shit! What's that? Oh, it's a snake. I'm like, dude, it's around your neck the whole time. He's, I forgot. I forgot, and it went down my pant leg. You know, he's like, kind of like the classic. His snake is. His snake, he has his snake got is more wacky. His snake in is 23 years. years old. Wow. Really? That's a fucking old snake. That's an old snake. That, that snake can drink. That's a drinking <laughs> snake. That's one drinking snake. Drinking snake. Really? Snake. Another couple of years is gonna get a discount on his car insurance. So. <laughs> Well, Geico, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd hope he would vote with Geico being a snake and yeah. being part of that you know, clan. Uh, lizard clan. He's a part of the lizard clan. Lizard clan. Yeah. What insurance do That's you hilarious. use? That's hilarious. And so is Danko in the chat right now? <laughs> yeah, he's making fun of you. So da- uh, he's fine. <laughs> he said that he was Danko Rickles making fun of you. Whoa, Danko Rickles. <laughs> Kachakawi. He was nailing you then. That, he's uh, yeah. really Don good Rickles behind is, the keyboard. Don Rickles is a is a is a tough one. You don't want to be no by him. No, yes, you do actually. Well, I'd be nice. Because he's the greatest. He's the best. Yeah. Was the greatest. He's the greatest. He was the greatest. Well, I mean, it, he's in the chat right now, Guerrero. If you want to just great, go ahead and book your I think your that's actually appearance. a great description of Danny Danko. The Don Rickles of cannabis, right there. Wow. You think so? Yeah, he oh, likes it too. Yeah. 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 That is yeah. totally the vibe. <laughs> oh, I think he, you've you've nailed it now. He planted the seed. Yeah, he planted it. Yeah. Well, no, he, he start. I guess he started his comedic genius when he hosted the uh, the Pinsky roast yeah, in no, Manhattan. He took it like, seriously. He took it seriously. When was that? Was like ten years ago, wasn't no, it? Wasn't. It was a while ago, but it was twenty seventeen. So not Get ten. Not years. ten. Look at him just throwing years around like they're going out of style. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> three, four, seven, ten. Doesn't matter. Numbers. It's the math actually, thing. Mark just figured out that yeah, three was. In the middle of two, two and four. four. The Monterey so, Jack joke. I mean, we're already. <laughs> just got it. <laughs> uh, we're, we're getting some brain cell activity around this area. We're doing pretty good. Why does Telly look so tense? Uh, Telly's not tense at all. He looks tense. Telly looks <laughs> like he's going like, to pass out. Yeah. No, like, that's tense chill. for him. He looks like he's almost ready to go to sleep. And, no, I think. Oh, oh, did anybody get that chick's name that walked in? I know she's hot. Yeah. Oh, so it's, it's Mike Denver. Oh. Y'all are cold. <laughs> she turned around like. What? Yeah, she had waved at me. Yeah. I was like, I saw the wave. I don't I have my glasses on. What can I say? I can't These see anything. Well, the, yeah, where are you at with like a a, a bad joke sound? This is Vinny's. Vinny's. Uh, no, he's uh, Vinny's making um, brisket. Can't stop. Can't stop. Won't yeah, stop. Yeah, dude. Can't yeah. stop. Won't stop. Kim. Yeah. 
freak. He was using the earlier. Don't kill him live on the air. You can just like. (laughs) Don't kill him live on the air. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. Don't mark those clones. (laughs) You don't need to kill all the plants while we're on the show. You can just like wait until after and then do it. Uh, Yes. Thank you. (laughs) <laughs> you, you missed several key drops right there okay i'm just saying you know even mark was like man Vinny should have been here that would have been a great place for a drop could have should have would have he is really good with the i only drop. need one drop whoa that's I right hate you. Wow. <laughs> i hate you so we do have an open that's invite fucked up if anybody, <laughs> wants to, if anybody else wants to jump on board that are just hanging around, yeah, the scared. Mike Denver's here. If you want I mean, to talk Mike about Denver's his hair, yeah, there's yeah. so many people in chat. I would think that way more people would want to join. I mean, no, chat. they're not That's paying attention to us. They're in the chat. They're like in a chat room. I do room. understand that yeah. because I was just over there doing that. Yeah. Oh, I have to. Okay, so uncuts of, in there. I'm assuming, right? That doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah. So everybody's um, in there. So let's talk. Let's talk Neuralink, right? Okay, Neuralink. Okay, let's talk. You saw the guy. The guy who played uh, not M- Mario Nintendo, Kart. yeah, Nintendo. Yeah, you saw yeah. The dude. Okay, sure. Did he? Yeah. Nice. And that so that ki- so, Uncut Bush gave Nick a toy from two thousand and what five or something like that. So it's pretty fucking. He's old. busy. And uh-huh. you put it on your head and you oh, put yeah. it on your temples and you got a ball and you basically look at it and think about it rising or lowering and yeah. it does it right. Yeah. And it, he's like, I'm like, he's playing. With Joey Vegas has got it. He's playing with the other day. Because he saw the Neuralink thing, and he's like, "Oh, I got that thing." He put it on, and it fucking worked. It's yeah, it works. And you're like, yeah. "Holy shit, that thing really yeah, yeah. does work." So it does work. that's like 20 years ago. I plus. was gonna say that's like 20 year old toy. And Get ready for Ready Player One, man. And so they, but I saw the stats on that. Right, the guy they they did like a little sort of presentation with the dude and the kid, and another guy that was with him for a, a month, and they were doing their testing with him, right? And so like seven hours after he put the thing in, he was already like making shit work on a screen, right? So they yep. made it, like, they got the con- connection. Then They've done studies, you know. A week later, he's already playing, fuck, he's making things work. Two weeks later, he's playing Mario Kart or whatever. And, uh, but they were doing the stats, and they were saying, like, right clicks, like, in, a, in this certain time frame where a person would average maybe 20,000 or... If they really he do it faster, he did 111,000 or something like that without oh, even wow. trying because just huh. like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. so he can just do shit. And they were like, he was playing chess and he didn't even know how to play chess, but he was fucking like winning the games against the guy. And it was just like, dude, dude, dude. they're just like feeding. It's pretty fucking weird. I was like watching it, like going, like, this is crazy because it's like some, and the guy's like, hey, how y'all doing? That's the guy, that's the guy they picked, right? And he's just like yeah. some guy who's really good at gaming, but he, hasn't been able to play because he's been doing it with his mouth or with his fucking whatever uh-huh. and then now they have so they have him doing all these tests and it was it was fucking weird i was like going like it like for that situation that makes sense like if you're in a wheelchair and you can do shit that's great but it sucks that you know people are like tap me in I was and gonna then say, it's gonna be crazy like, yeah gonna, weaponizing something like oh that. my god just like people with the fucking just like there's a chat here Who's holding the wires you let them stick in your brain? Exactly. Why would you want You. To, why would you want to be able to get shit? I'm trustworthy. Yeah. You know, it's you, know it's gonna, when, you know they're in control. It's only when you fall asleep. You know it's coming, though. Look how fast. Look what they just released that, on us. That makes me lose sleep. Literally, this is a terrifying idea for me. It's already here. I have the most insane. Yeah, it is. It was it's great Denver. listening. I watched Bill Maher, and they had somebody go through, like, you know, like, AI can really help things, right? You could ask it a question. You could say, like, solve world hunger. And it would just say, well, I'll just kill half the planet, right? So think we ha- we, you have to give it limits with how, with how you question things and then what it becomes in control of. And then the first time it can synthesize something that makes it mobile, we're terminated. We're all uh, Hold on, Dave. Are you trying to say that the uh, AI is like a genie? No, I'm not saying it's a genie. I'm saying it's a new form of intelligence that we are not considering a child, and we're giving it access to everything. And I love the Terminator movies. And <laughs> there's no, there, I, I, I would, if somebody said to me, you know, AI was actually released by a company called Skynet, I'd go, of course it was. You know, so it's uh, there. 
the, it, this happens in every new technological advancement, right? It happened with the steam engine. It the happened with the engine, the telephone, the 5G. microphone. 5G, 6G, oh, colon blow. You know, one bowl oh of colon blow Oh, my gosh, you guys know I'm totally with my tinfoil crown right now. You're <laughs> freaking me out. Get the hat on. Get the hat. <laughs> Get it. Get it up. This is nuts. Get it up. <laughs> Uh, oh, yep. What do you guys think about chemtrails? Yes. Chemtrails? Oh, there. That's totally been right now. They're really, Guerrero. You're gonna do that to me? What? Really? I have to no. sit next to them. You they, fuck. They Go, literally, don't. Do. They literally just fucking published that whole thing is that they changed the fuel, so they've been using this biofuel, mm. and that the biofuel. Are you listening to this, Mike? Wider Denver? contrails, right? So the what, please the crisscross pattern that you see, right, creates serious clouds. Would, let him, let Mike Denver and, listen to this. He has a brain, and that's a hundred percent been been being done for fucking years. It's like, what do you think? You think that's not? You don't. You don't for what? 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 To control to do. weather. What are you talking about? To yeah. control weather. I want you. Hell we yeah. Can wait yeah. And make you talk. That's how clouds work. This Guerrero is coming from the person who sent me a picture of a I Q-tip mean, with a hair on it and said that was the reason for COVID. Mm-hmm. Okay, right? <laughs> yeah. What, what, what do you it's think they're so going to be doing wild. with that uh, <sighs> that big old thing that that's in the South Pole? The uh, they have the biggest yeah, they have uh, the telescope basket- there. Well, yeah, they have basketball shaped size like things in the ground, just like twenty. Yeah. 20 by 20 kilometers. It's obviously I mean, I just largest. believe that there is always no, more going on. No, of course, 100%. That, is that good? That's the weather, right? They're going to yeah. use that yeah, to, it, it yeah. up the ionosphere. To mess up the, the weather. Ionosphere. Yeah. Ionosphere. No, and that's what created the... The, some the, the dinosaurs. It no, killed the dinosaurs. No, they do earthquakes. Earthquakes. <laughs> Tesla, 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 had, Tesla, oh. Tesla made an earthquake machine years ago, and it's basically just... He, he did one in New York. He caused an earthquake in New York. I, I, I believe in Tesla, right. sure. Right, so he caused an earthquake oh in New York. God. They basically knew it was him. They came running over, and he smashed this box that he had created, which created just waves that got bigger and bigger as they went farther and farther, ripped up. Tra- but then he also said, all you got to do is heat up the ionosphere a couple degrees here, a couple degrees there, and you can point it in the right direction, and you can pinpoint a place on Earth and create a fucking earthquake. You are the oh. weakest link. No. It's not hard. Goodbye. And so there we go. And that's what that's why the whole South Pole thing is all this bunch of conspiracy shit about it is because that's where they put it all. Because that's the place where they can. It's keep hard it to get there. Consistent temperature. Can't it's Uber easy. there. It's all buried in the ice. They haven't buried in the ice. Taylor Swift's been there. They have a twenty by twenty square. Taylor grid. Swift's been there. And it, and it heats up the thing. It's a telescope. It can go both <sighs> ways. It can go. It's a telescope, but it's can also. Directed, beep up, it's a directed beep up. energy weapon, is what it is. Directed energy. Weapon. Well, and the only way you could go there is if you if you get a tour. You have to have a guided tour to that to the South Pole. You cannot go there as a any kind of citizen of yeah. any country. Yeah, but you can, you can go, only but go, you can go. Well, we're B and C list kind of celebrities. I'm sure I'm they sure they'll let us go. I'm pretty sure they'd be like Adam Dunn. Yeah, let, yeah. the baseball player. Yeah, of be course, like, of course. And yeah. then they'll say, Psh, yeah. let him in. Yeah. Let him in. <laughs> Before you see how many home runs I hit. Look at those guns. <laughs> you know it's me. You know it's me. No, that's all true. Though. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you, when in your garden, do you also put like a uh, a copper wire with a crystal on the end of it? Oh, like God. Fang, like Fang. And he says a prayer that's, that's, to it every day. Fang, Fang does that. And Total Faraday cage around the whole thing. I mean, we got we got two who did his electric. He did his electric uh, uh, experiments and stuff. And there's some. There's definitely like. Ganja grid. Cannabis can benefit from it, but there's a lot of like back in the day, it was most everybody grounded their gardens, and it was like it wasn't such a weird thing. But nowadays, people don't think along those lines. You know, it's like so. It w- but when people were just when electricity was like kind of more raw, and they were dealing with it, and it wasn't like like now everything is all you know everything is uh, like you can plug anything in because it has a it has its own converter and stuff back in the day it wasn't there was no converters there was no there was like dc power coming in and crazy shit so people sh- figured out quickly what because they got shocked all the time so it'd be like hey i walk in my field when it's wet and because the fucking power line right there so they would create grounded things just to protect uh, themselves and then in the end they'd see like the plants were doing better where they had the copper plugged in and compared to where they didn't have it in. So it was like, huh, there's something to it. And there's guys out of Rhode Island that made a whole little unit that you could buy and dial it all in. These are my friends too. You know that, right? That the Rhode Island talk guys? Just like Adam. Just talk just like Adam. They, 
they'll go on and on about about the what what it does and it's like oh my god what's well, got i mean there's benefits out of a gate you can always <clears throat> electricity is one of those like it's funny too because all my grows like, there's spots I, I know where there's going to be a short like and plants never have a problem like i've seen like on the racks that i have grounds wet I can just, I could, as I'm touching them, I'm feeling a little, little, little shock here and there, and I'm like, ah, whatever. Never see, the, never see a problem with that. Like it always, plants in those always seem to do better. So. Thanks, Guerrero. Appreciate it. Um, Take us down to more conspiracy <coughs> paths. Yes. Yes. Help, please. Healthy Green <laughs> ask you, Adam. What's that? Well, well, you burned us out, man. Vinny, just, just turn on. There you go. Come on. All man. right. Get it together. Um, what are you trying to do? Rub, like make the ocean or something? I don't know. What's going on? <sighs> Adam. Yes. Are you going to do more with the pink panty strain? You never sound like you're reading. See, it's you funny. Every, everybody's dialing in on all this stuff that's over in Europe. Like pink panties in Europe. Uh, Waikiki. That's from their Waikiki. Well, cross. he said the next thing was Waikiki is my all-time fave. Great yeah. work. All right. Well, yeah. I, I'll, take, I'll take all credit from their work <laughs> whenever possible. If it's Need bad, though, if it's bad, I don't want to hear about it. Wasn't me. <laughs> wasn't me, man. No. That's all Julian's work, so I will pass that message because I saw that the other day. Oh, cool. And I'll pass it on to TH Seeds Europe because uh, anything that's coming out of there, a lot. Of, I mean, a lot of times I'll feed them genetics to work with, but mm-hmm. in general, uh, pink panties were something that they had, uh, they had isolated. They ignore me. Okay. It's not from me. Like person. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know. uh, I was wondering that because he said that. I was like, I've never You're really like, heard I've you. never seen Yeah, it. I've never even, yeah, I figured I would have seen it by the, by now. But yep. yeah. You would have heard about Pink Panties, right? I'm sure. For okay. sure. That's what I was thinking. Exactly that. There you go. THC's Waikiki is a Pink Panties cross. Yeah, okay. All right. I, okay. I, hey. I was just reading. Speaking of speaking. Of pink panties and pink panties. This time, let's, let's do some ads. Ads. Oh. Let's do some ad reads. <laughs> Get this ball rolling. <coughs> okay. Ad reads. Ad reads. We need so some high bring cafe. Bring it on down. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> bring it on down. Bring it on down. Hey. If you are in, Col- if you're in Denver, Colorado, and you want to experience uh, barbecue. In cannabis-friendly environment, possibly or, meet the landlady. Possibly the, meet the landlady. I and mean, if you came in on a Friday, you'd get to hang out with all of us. All but, of us. Sure. but if you are here on any other day, we're open seven days a week, pretty much. Unless Vinny's not feeling it, you never know. <laughs> it's open seven days a week. <laughs> but it's open whenever <laughs> his eyes are open. It's open. That's yeah. how it goes. Pretty pretty much. But uh, you can get pretty briskets much. and ribs, Tacos. mac and cheese, all sorts of incredibly Burnt many things that you brisket. would never imagine Adam does Hot have links. his Great vibes. repertoire. But See, I'm spin some tunes. <laughs> are always here. <laughs> yep, we got tunes. Yeah, I fixed the if you're website. you're a DJ and you want to have, uh, have a place to come now spin. Now it's hypnotic. It just keeps, it just keeps right. spinning right there. Keeps spinning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So High Cafe, Viper Pit Barbecue. Bring it on down. That's right. <coughs> Ozo oh, Coffee. Yeah. You like coffee, I'm assuming, uh, Mr. Guerrero, right? Do you, Do you buy Ozo? Have you been buying from Ozo? Supporting them? Maybe. I love coffee. Order so, it. have you have you, you gone to deal? Ozo Coffee and purchased Dundale some coffee I using have, the Dun- I, 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 All the time. They're great. Ozo's awesome. Oh, you That's don't sound answer. like you're lying. Good answer. OzoCoffee.com. Done Deal 24 <laughs> gets you 20% off your order. Don't do like Guerrero. He, he tells... Don't stories. pretend. Don't pretend don't like pretend. you do it. Don't do it for real. You know, do do it the for real, real deal. Don't be like. It's don't amazing be like really coffee. It's <laughs> amazing coffee. Ozo like, coffee. No, be like Rosin Dog. Rosin Dog is like the one thing I can yep. say. Of all the things Rosin Dog does, the one thing I can say he does what right? He spends money on he coffee. Spends money on the right coffee. Yeah. Does not waste a dime. No. Mm-hmm. I mean, except for when he goes to McDonald's drive-through, probably and guzzles Ugh. down a shitty coffee because he thinks it's good because someone told him that. Because mm-hmm. I've heard him. In the line while I have to talk to him, like, yeah. what are you doing? He's like, McDonald's. Getting my McRib. Your favorite place. I'm like, dude. No. Ozocoffee.com. No. Dude, don't do it. Buildasoil.com. 855-877-SOIL. You're going to go to their website, find what you want, and then you're going to call them, and you're going to say, I want the done deal. And you'll get 10% or better off your order. They know everything about everything about growing anything. Wow. From plants That's a lot to of mushrooms. Stuff. They That's do. A lot of, a lot of Somebody there is an expert. Guaranteed. You know, if you're growing mushrooms, uh, Miles is talking about using his uh, ferments 
in like small parts of it in your misting water and Ooh. he's getting really good results from uh, growing mushrooms that way too so you can check and that you, out if you, yeah if you happen to be on the western slope and you're like want to go check out build a soil you, you there's a good chance you'd run into miles which would be like yeah. worth, uh, it's worth going there definitely just for that reason yep yeah build a soil. he was in town while we were in Spain they the shit Yotip.com. Yo. You go to yotip.com. You enter done deal at checkout. I'm, I'm f- I forgot how much. I think it's 10% off your order. But what we really want you to do is introduce them to your dispensary, um, to your smoking lounge. It is a great way to stay safe. You notice that Adam was sick last week because he did not use Yotips when he was smoking with a whole bunch of strangers because everyone wants to smoke with Adam Dunn. I myself stayed healthy the whole time. Smoke joints that. with everyone. Always had a Yotip. I love this product. Head over to Yotip.com or go to Yo Products and we, LLC. And, and we actually ran into somebody with uh, an actual Yotip uh, necklace, just like. That's Mary. right. That is absolutely right. I po- did. We I posted it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, I think we did. But, yeah. But anyway, he came up to us. He had drilled a little hole so that he could wear his Yotip around oh, his neck, cool. so he that's wouldn't clever. lose it. Yeah, right in the side. It'd be really difficult to do him in mass. No, but no, you just need a little pouch, you need a little pouchy wouchy, you put your thing in there. You know. You have uh, a do they pouchy have a bigger size than a size? And you put your little thing in there. Yeah, or it could be silver. You're embarrassing the right landlady. Right slide right in there. Yeah. Slide. And you slides right in there. Slide right in there, yotip.com. Slide right in. That's right. Greenfarmsmed.com. Please don't put that picture up. Uh, it's there. It's like the it's the donger of now. It's, like, <laughs> it's the new and improved yeah, the new dong, dong photo. Donger. So last time donger. we checked, he had seven hundred different SKUs. You know what we just found out now? He has nine thousand mm, SKUs. No, I think it was like eight, eight or nine. Oh That's wow! I can't back that up. Look at look at how many products he has right. Except there. he has a big empty thing on the right. Like the so you want to go to greenfarmsmed.com. You want to tell them you heard about it on the Adam Dunn Show. You're going to get a discount. If you're not a medical patient yet, you want to hit up Holos Health in Boulder and ask for Dr. Joe. Get yourself a medical card. I just got renewed. Um, great thing to have here in Colorado. So go to greenfarmsmed.com. Green Bros. They are making the best post-harvest equipment that you can possibly imagine. From trimmers to tumblers to co- to collect your trichromes to conveyor belts all that fun oh stuff oh my goodness they oh, have a yeah. the holy roller which makes 9 million joints per second so you go to greenbros.com greenbros with a z you give them a call you tell them you heard about it on the Adam Dunn show you're going to get 5% off any big ticket item or 10% off this harvest harvest bucket trimmer which everybody needs because you have a drill and you have a bucket. So have drill, have bucket, insert trimmer. You have it, uh, half a dozen marks. So, I mean, I'm looking at you, Guerrero. It's probably 20 of you. I'm sorry. 20 Guerrero I'm saying, per bucket. I'm just thinking it's at least 20 of you. <laughs> Dishwasher so, safe. Oh, well, we had a question from the chat. Do you always do the podcast with the camera from beginning at your nose up or do you normally show your whole face? Up. Greenbros.com. <laughs> <laughs> Apothecary Farms. If you're into concentrates and you're in Denver, Oklahoma, you want to check out Apothecary Farms. They have live resin, rosin, and all that going on. Max out Mondays where you can uh, get the best uh, deal out of your buck there. and uh, Best deal out of your buck. Yeah. Buck out of your deal. Yeah, buck exactly. Out of your deal. And uh, five locations uh, in, uh, in, in Oklahoma and three in... Colorado? Oh, four in Colorado. That's right. And uh, apothecaryfarms.com is where you go check it out. Tell them you heard about it on the Adam Dunn Show. Oh, yeah. The greatest dab rig there is, Dab X Go, but they have other products there, too. So they have the rocket, so it turns any dab rig that you have, uh, any rig you have, into a dab rig. Oh, look at Guerrero playing Vanna, pointing pointing right at everything. I I was noticing it. He knows what's going on. Um, But you want to get this right here. This Pro Tool is the shit. Adam broke his because he's Adam Dunn and he treats everything horribly. Rough. He, he lost the cap Dave, within minutes. Dave. Okay. It has a sesh mode on there. It la- it, it, what the technology they use allows well, the first like hit to be the same as the last hit. 
<laughs> right? That, that should be the rocket, but it's not. That's the go. You, you enter done deal at checkout, and you get 20% off any product in the store. So a $300 rig cost you $240 shipped. You want to get a couple, okay? You can buy two for the price of one Puffco. Okay, dabx.com. Join us every Tuesday. We do a live on Instagram at 1230 Mountain Time. If you have a go, you're welcome to join. Um, I've only What's been your handle? Cannabis sex experience? Yeah, sex. Mostly with <laughs> <laughs> If anybody is looking for a job being a producer for a podcast, we're hiring because Mark is leaving the show. <laughs> Damn, Mark, I love you so much. <laughs> Dabex.com. 14 or Boulder. Oh, shit. This hash hole was really fun to smoke, and I smoked both the joints without you, Mark. I noticed that. Okay. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's love great. hash holes. Yeah. It, uh, I want, th- they have a one gram with a quarter gram of rosin in it. Um, I'm I'm waiting for the two grammar with the half grammar rosin. Yeah, you need at least that. Okay, yeah. so it's be a proper but, hash oil. You don't no, it is it is proper. Oil. It burned perfect. Oh, it yeah. was fantastic for myself. Bigger I hash oil all by hash. myself. Fantastic for myself. What a, for what a hash hole! <laughs> what a hash hole he is. Guy, you the are. Guy, and such you know, a hash and hole. hash hole maneuver. Yo tips will be coming out with the hash holder. Which will be an XL for the big hash holes. Oh. So you got That's to what I'm talking about. All you have to do is go to 14erbolder.com. You place your pre order. Before you check out, you enter done deal and you get 20% off your order. So it's an amazing deal. They're an amazing dispensary. Uh, when I walked out, everybody said, Oh, you're the guy. And I'm like, Did you, Adam owes you a dollar, right? And, what? Uh, you're the guy with the can on the can? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it, go to 14 boulder.com get their garden select. It's amazing. It's uncanny them? how much it does look like you, uncanny? though. When I do go grab my little 14-er thing, it really... You understand, it's supposed to be me. It's that, not, was oh, that really? really supposed you know, to be I thought it was just an accident. I thought that was like... No. That's why it's DJ. Oh, my goodness. Do we have to... T- I don't want to tell this story again. I'm going to get hate mail. It's his initials. I knew, Look at him. He's only I a told, can a week. Okay, so I asked Evan to, be, okay, to cross yeah, they aged him the truth with a whole so bunch of strains. Into it. This, is the, this is the truth by Deadhead OG. They loved it. They needed to give it a name. It's a Deadhead Jamaican cross, so they put yeah. DJC on it. Right when Jonah, my son, was walking past and said to him, did my dad just buy you know, this wholesale? And, and he's like, what do you mean? He's like, well, you put my dad's initials on it, thinking that... They just earmarked it for me because they knew that project was going on. That's hilarious. So that be- so it started, and they put my face on it. I love that so much. That's a precious. Mem- that Thank you. Fourteen or Boulder dot com. It was coincidental that you looked exactly. Like the Check guy out all the precious favorite. memories. <sighs> a lot of coincidence. Fourteen or Boulder. <laughs> Kawaihemp dot com. Judd's gonna come on next Kwa- week for a little bit, talk Kwa- all about what's going on with Kawai Hemp. Yeah. Heck yeah. Great. Organically grown CBD products. If you're a deadhead, keep the money within the family. Um, this is Bill Kreutzmann's daughter's company. It is an amazing company. They make amazing CBD, especially for pets. My, my little puppy loves it. Okay. So, so go to kawaihempco.com, enter done deal at checkout. I think it's 10% off your order, or but you should actually just take advantage of that 15% off your first order. Oh, do that. Yeah. For sure. Take advantage of every percent. You right. can. That's An extra right. five. Coupon Dave. Taking Tops oh. Cannabis. Oh, dot com. Taking Tops. Oh. Do you want your girl to he come on and talk about wings. it? That you walked in here? He bought all the wings? He bought all the wings. Y'all should know that. What the fuck? Taking Wings. He, I, Vinny usually gives He's me one or wings. two wings. <laughs> right. So you go to Taking Wings <laughs> Cannabis. Taking com. Yep. Yeah. Because he <laughs> fucking ate all the wings, wow, motherfucker. Why, you Taking wings? Tops. No. TakingTopsCannabis.com. You got all the links right there. You want to check out Duncan Dabbers on Facebook, the yep. group. It's an awesome group. Check yeah, it out. They eat donuts and dab. They do yep. a lot of Duncan. That's cool. Oh, oh you saw this thing. You it hits it. like a fucking champ. It comes, it goes. That's a little mini Dundon Dude, glass. It looks beautiful. Dude, One I day I will own it you. It is lovely. Enter done deal at checkout. You get 24% off your order. You can't be the It's the biggest discount 24%? they have going. Yeah, Are you kidding what, me? That's right. Yeah. You, you, that's like a hundred bucks. It's like a good tip. He's kind of like Mark. He 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 sounds so full of shit. You know when he's trying to be sincere, <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly you're like you're like Mark, too. 
you know, D two. We call yeah, you Mark, Mark two D two. Hook up the student glass up to a vindicator. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you hook it up to your car. Vinny's got it hooked up to yeah, something. Yeah. He's got his vindication. Yeah. One hit wonders. Yeah, one. Uh, That's next, right. Next week, we may have to break it all out because we'll have um, a bunch of people coming in for the NOCO. Let's Hemco. clean that. Huh? Nah. Oh, when is that? The 11th, I think, something like that. Huh. All right. So after next week. Right after next week. All right. Stundenglass.com. Stundenglass. Oh, we already did. We already did toppies. Okay. Hortitechdirect.com. Enter done deal at checkout, but you're not going to do that because you're not buying a $30,000 greenhouse on a website. You're going to call them up. You're going to tell them you heard about it on the Adam Dunn Show. They're going to take really good care of you because their greenhouses are second to none in construction, reliability, and durability. They're double walled, and all the mechanicals are on the inside interior, so they're not affected by any of the weather, any of the elements. We spoke to a grower in North Dakota. It was minus 70 degrees for three days. It was 72 degrees in his greenhouse. There were 50 mile an hour winds, and even Mr. X tried to break in. He couldn't get through the fence. No, you couldn't know? make it through. It was totally Mr. X proof. It was a piece of plastic. He couldn't yep. cut it. Couldn't, couldn't do it. it. Couldn't make. Couldn't, couldn't handle get his razor it. Through the plastic. Uh. Com and uh, make sure you get those six free brushes that I negotiated personally for you guys. Oh yeah! Don't you fucking forget about it. Nope. Terpwipes.com slash done deal. Uh, they are now a hit um, in Europe. Yeah. We brought them across. Everybody loved them. You go to terpwipes.com slash done deal. I brought a box to 14 or hopefully you'll be able to get them there soon. Um, that's all you need to do. Terpwipes.com slash done deal. Bio365.com. Bio365. Mark actually called Tim at Bio365. Mark did? Yep. And he had a pallet of soil sent to his house. No way. Yep. Really? I have yeah. a forklift at my house. He has a forklift <laughs> and a loading bag. Oh, he yeah, did dude. not. He does. <laughs> okay, he oh, does. You jealous? Nice. You jealous? I love this Are you so jelly? much. I wish he did. Are you I'm going to do, do this. Med- None of this Can is we true. Do I've been to his true. house. I know he has no loading. <laughs> yeah. That's so for sure. We should, we should you load lost that me up. right there. You could have said he got, he got a pallet delivered. That you I did. You're my brain did hold on to that and say, what up, the fuck? Adam, nobody knew that. They all believed me. I believed you. Mm. Yeah. I did too until I heard that was the terminology. Even if you don't believe us, if you call them, they will send you a pallet of this stuff. They believe in it so much that they want you to. If you go, in your Chris, garden. and say, I am Guerrero, I grow, and then they will yeah. be like, oh. Pallet. They'll send you a fucking pallet. Yeah. Oh, I'll fucking get a pallet. pallet. Send you a Hell pallet. yeah. Send you I need a pallet at the house. Pallet at the house. Bio365.com. Yeah. Love it. Numb nuts. You go to numbnutsco.com. Kick Done em. deal at checkout. 20% off your order. Adam was in Barcelona. <laughs> Adam Weiss, that is. If you're a medical patient, you click the Find Our Nuts it. button. I didn't see him either. Those nuts. Okay. Those nuts. Just find Our em. Nuts. You know, yeah, those are... And find where the 1,000 milligram THC tubs are. No he discount. Not, he did not put enough peanut butter on that thing. I'm sorry. No. Well, he's that trying was, to do I mean, I ride yeah. a bicycle, so that's And if you're in Breckenridge, like you go to Breckenridge Way Organic much. Therapy. I want a layer. You enter done deal at checkout, and you get 10% off your order. Tell everybody while you're waiting in line. Breckenridge Organic Therapy. He's not paying. I just did it. Oh, just did. Sunscape so LED. Oh, I'll be here shit. next week. Next week, they're coming to town. Whoa. We're Sunscape hanging. LED. We're going to have a whole, well, at least a half a show, because Dave's show. trying to overload us with other guests. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, he doesn't listen. I, I've got the whole show. I listen. I, no, no, it was... He he, I don't, he, but no, Jin will be here. You he won't. Um, I guarantee you He's got won't. a breeder from Missouri, which I can't remember his name. But I think it's another J name. He goes by Breeder Missouri. No, it's J, J something. J uh, Missouri. Justin, Jason, Jason, Jason. SunscapeLED.com. Their technology comes from the Chinese mining industry where the level of safety you know that's, and, and you know that's fucking, that's some... Happy, that's a happy place. Well, it's the same. It's <laughs> oh, the yeah. same. The Chinese safety. mining industry, like ho hum. Well, any mine, you need to stay alive. You need light, okay? Just as you can't get electrocuted in a it hot helps. tub. So sunscapeled.com. But if you lightly get it just slightly uh, yeah, electrocuted, yeah, yeah. it's kind of fun. JeromeBaker.com. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome Baker. The, the maker Drone of the Vindicator glass. bong series. Oh, the maker of the Vindicator. That's that's, that's the maker great. of the Vindicator. There you go. You got the tagline. <laughs> maker of the Vindicator. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Nitrous uh, assisted bong ribs. Bong, 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 bong. Yeah, exactly. Nitrous, so. nitrous, nitrous, nitrous. Jerome Baker glass. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's On crazy. Instagram. I know a bunch of like younger, like, uh, you know, guys who smoke weed at work, and they, they don't know. Yeah, they. I mean, but. 
if you show them a picture, then they're like, oh, yeah, my dad has one of those. Oh, like, you know, like, like yeah, that's yeah. My granddad, oh, sure. my granddad yeah. had one of those yep. when he but, was a kid. Uh, <laughs> but I, at least they're hip now, and they know exactly what's going on. They know to watch yeah. the Adam Dunn show whenever we're down in uh, Vegas, and, you know, it's all cool. Sucking down, sucking down, sucking down nitrous. nitrous. There you go. We should have him on the show sometime soon. Because he's around. He's, come on. Yeah. He's just hanging around. Jerome Baker. Nitrous. Jerome Baker. Tell, him, com. tell him there's nitrous and he'll come on the show. Seats Welcome. here now. Welcome to Seats com. here now. March oh, is here. We're springing into action with tons of fresh deal on cannabis seeds. Every order secures a freebie distribution's choice. Plus, enjoy 20% off on all THC packs and lemon flavor strains all month long, which is only crowd? a couple days more. Where's my crowd? Yeah. Stay tuned for come our on. weekly sales all do, month long. Shop all the new strains here. SeatsHereNow.com. If Guerrero, if you need anybody to do any of your voiceovers that doesn't sound like they're reading at all, Mark is available. Yeah, he charges he's really fifty-five dollars an <laughs> so hour. Good. He's really he's good. your guy. Yeah. All right. Smooth as silk. Yeah. Describe Smooth. Like butter. It. I mean, look at all these breeders. I mean, come look on. at these breeders. Look at them all. Uh, like, seven. As soon as they come up, one, as soon as they load, uh, they'll maybe, be they'll, there. maybe they'll be there. <laughs> and if you watched any Danko show, I don't see anything. What is that? If you watched any Danko show, they ruined me. Where are they? They ruined me. Anyways, seats here now. Can't remember. Well, you know, THC was there. You know what? And Sage Fest is left. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. And Heart and Soil. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should taste good. Yeah, we should taste good. It's definitely. Do you have any uh, lemon? Do they have any lemon uh, cultivars on there or, or, or crosses? Because well, the I'm well, you know what? All you need to do is go to seedsherenow.com and go to the flavor of the I mean, month. And right now we have purple lemonade autos. We have uh, super what? lemon haze fis. Who's we got that? lemon pie. We got lemon free. What? We got early lemon berry RB. Uh, no way! Wait, is this like Sorry. fucking little, little Wayne's on here? What's no, this is all the lemon stuff <laughs> for this this uh. month, and it's only a couple more days. So get on oh, it. Yeah. All these are on sale. Dude, no way! Yeah. What a quinkity! It's, it's a lemon time. It's a lemon time. Egyptian fur burger deluxe uh, mega million uh, scratcher skunk bubba kush. Are there any public places that you are by law not allowed to attend? <laughs> <laughs> Are there any rest- current restraining oh, orders go. against right. you right go now? Go to AdamDunshow.com if you want to pick up You have merch. to disclose. AdamDunshow.com. Get merch, all the merch, new merch, threads. Merch. We got... I do this three hours a day. Three hours now? I thought it was eight. You went from eight to three? What happened? You're sliding down. You're sliding. Oh. And, uh, go buy a hat four. and a hoodie. Right, we had some requests for the motherfucking hours, Adam Dunn Show day. shirt, and it's right here. You can get it on a hat. Ooh, oh, a yeah. flat bill hat. That's nice. Speaking of which, we're going to have a 24-hour show this year coming up on, mm. on uh, our show date, which is 419, going into 420, okay. which slides into a Saturday. Good. So it's 420 on Friday till 420. You want to work? I'm going to do two Saturday. Maybe four so hours, and then you can do the rest. We need to, we, we're going to need your help I'm on that, Chris. We're going to we're so gonna, we're gonna need help. Look at Mark. Mark thinks you're so stupid. But it has to be super late at night when we're really tired. That's what we need your help. AdamDunshow.com. No, you're going to need help the whole thing. I'm going to do four hours. I'll do the first four. You're going to do four hours? I'm not doing 24. That's so dumb. Okay. Well, so you dumb. You're not then. Yeah. Kyle will come in. You'll, Kyle, you guys Kyle's can eat acid. Of course. Um, we'll do all also, that. Also, <laughs> if you want to catch the... Uh, we haven't been around to doing it lately, but uh, we uh, are going to get to a Patreon episode. And, Finally. I know and, we're here. Uh, we're all here. Adam is sending are me videos sure? right now. It's happening. With, well, even though it doesn't look like right I'm now. doing it. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> see, my I phone's said, here. I sent some Mark Nothing Mark happening. Pictures. Oh, you want to look at it right now on this no, show? No, no, no. no, no. Oh, no. It's Patreon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, no. no. I was talking to Mark! Him. Just stop. I <laughs> There's no... In- yeah. yeah. Mark and Mark pictures Mark and Mark is not going to fuck up our Patreon. He's coming on I just posted the link to the Patreon so you can go. So if you're not a Patreon... Go check it out. Member. A bu- a buck a buck five posse. a week. A buck oh five a week. A buck oh five. Okay. A buck oh five. Come on. Hey, a buck yeah. oh five. And it just it's costs as much it. freedom. Yeah. <laughs> it is your freedom, actually. It's your freedom from, from uh, having to do something more important. Because yeah. you can finally just use me as yeah, an excuse. Be like, be like, I gotta go on Patreon. I pay a dollar five. I gotta listen to it. I'm watching my program. I just people I know like that. watching my program. <laughs> Watch that my was program. All. Yeah. They gotta get their everything. Everything's working. Marky Mark has it all day. Does he have it dialed in? We're dialed in. Yeah, Marky Mark's got it dialed in. But all right. Well, thanks, Chris, for coming here and hanging out with us. Yeah, um, it was, uh, nice to actually have you on the show finally. After you know, it's funny. You know, it's funny is because because your name's you Guerrero. 
you definitely did not match my my anticipation of who you were. I was like, oh, he's gonna be a dude with a beard, of course, because he's gonna be like guy with a beard because he's a grower, and he's gonna be he's gonna be dark hair, of course, because his name's Guerrero, right? So he's gonna be. We knew who he was. Mark sent us everything he's ever said about us. Every time he oh, would yeah. talk shit looks, about us, how he looks. I said, oh, God, you don't listen okay. to me very much. Wow, See, you don't. I said he doesn't match what I thought he was gonna look like. He's bald. I know. I thought it was Holy I thought shit. it was Chris Plant, but it wasn't. There you go. Yeah. Chrome Dome. Chrome Dome, Should Chris. Run a boy. See you. Uh, oh, look at us coming out early. We have five more minutes. We can just jibber jabber yeah. on five whole minutes. This is great. This never happens. No, this is amazing. This is we've incredible. never. Incredible. Th- I think it's because we have Chris on board. We've kept our. We've kept Boy, the keel hey. going. He's kept the keel. Hey, alive. will you? What you want? <laughs> Mr. X, will you ask Eric that good looking woman over there to bring me that box of the Oh, yeah, the hottie, the hottie across from you? Yeah. Heroin, Sweetie, will you bring some of those freeze dried drinks from Tea Greenery Farms? Like, you would say, Sweetie. Show them off. You would say, Sweetie. Come here, Sweetie. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. I played Cabana Boy Can you earlier. Bring so some don't of those feel bad. Yeah, now he wants another Cabana Boy. He's tired of you. <laughs> yeah. He needs a new one. He needs a new fresh meat. He wants some fresh meat. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Wow. What? I can't hear you. What? I don't know. Man. I'm seriously, I want to show off Tom Greenery's freeze dried boots. Right there, he box. sent them to us. That box. Pick one thing out that Mike Denver was going to throw at oh, me. Oh, come on, Mike. Throw something. Don't throw, throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Oh, you picked the green one? You picked of that? Of course. The most Ugh. artificial looking one. And now you can't see green. It's you green on green. green. We need green something green. not green. Not green. Oh, jeez. Anything but green, please. Well, you should have said that yeah. first. I didn't think he Bring would pick the one thing. Well, He's a professional. Yeah. He did pick the green. So what that one's got do? green in it, too. Oh, Skittles. <laughs> that has green in it. Oh, okay. There you go. Explosive nice, Skittles. Nice, dude. Because everybody needs that. Thank you, life. Tom Green from Greener, T. Greenery Farms. Because you know when you have like uh, stuff that's like not even oh, she doesn't technically that. humanly. It's not even like fit for human consumption. But then Skittles you, is but, not. But then you put it into a freeze dryer. Now it is. And now it's totally mm. consumption consumable. Can, will you eat one of those? No. <laughs> he says no. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Well, Nick. No, he's not allowed to. <laughs> so there we go. But can you bring us something we can eat? Thank you. Not Skittles. No, no, we're, no, no. That's he, okay, dude. You're, the brownie you're, bites. You're, 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 I shouldn't piss him off. I was gonna actually ask him if he had any extra mushrooms. Oh Fuck. man, now you're getting nothing. I know. You got. I shouldn't have insulted Nada. him when he walked in the door. Uh oh, here he comes. Oh jeez. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. What's no he showing? Oh. That looks dangerous. Oh, oh. Are those chocolates? Oh, Han Solos. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. No way. Yeah. That's so. Great. That is genius. <laughs> That's so sick. Wow. That is these, fucking these genius. Scrooms? Ah. Scrooms? How, what? You, no, he, no, this, this is, is going to be so 10, right? Five? When I see someone eat a squid, I just feel when? sorry for them. One. Oh, I think he said 20. One gram, okay. I was like, 20? I think he said 20, no. too. At I first, like, I oh, thought shit. 20. I was like, this is wild. <laughs> I was like, 20. He handed me a no four-gram like, cupcake once. Be... I thought he said 20 grams first, and I was like, wow. Yeah. That's a strong bar. This is so exciting. Thank you. So exciting. Great idea. Genius. This really is brilliant. Genius. Somebody's going to rip you off right now. You, you showed it on the show. Oh, I know. It, it is, it, you get it? It's carbonite. It's Han carbonite. Solo. Carbonite. I love Good it shit. so much. Uh. <laughs> well, Always. If you wanna, if you wanna, oh, may the fourth be with you. That's coming next. Oh, next week. Oh, oh, man. Man. You're ready. You're so ready, dude. So yeah. on, of course. Oh, Mr. Ready. We'll what? have to break of out the Of course I told you. What, what, I, a month early. We'll have this to is by a couple of days. Are you willing to put 10 hours in in the seat on the, his 24-hour debacle? I got the Millennium Falcon mold and uh, Death Star. Don't worry, Dave. Oh, we'll no, carry the show for you. Oh, Dave, no pro- th- Dave, no we problem. D- we have yeah. no problem. I know you won't. Yeah, we won't. We're going to get stuck. I, I, I have I at have least not time. disagree with you. I could probably pull off a 24-hour story if I just pull If I just really <laughs> if I, go I deep, believe that. If I went deep, acid. If I went deep, I could make yeah. that story go just yep. 24 hours. Tie it all in together. At, at the very end. Every all arcing. Out, it would all comes arc back. back. Yeah. Oh, it'd be great. From Full the first. Circle. Remember when I told you, right, when yes. I started this story remember, that I was going to come back to this point. Green dress. Remember the green dress? And then the green dress. Yeah, and it was like. Yeah, and everyone's like, oh, my God, it was a great story. Mr. Story. X was in a green dress. I oh. can't believe it. After and he all looked that. good. He looked real good. Wow. That one left. <laughs> Another left-handed comment. Another oh, left. They've <laughs> been many this whole conversation. I was Dave's curious. Dave's left-handed is frisky today. <laughs> I wonder I if to... uh, with that, the neural link, if you'll be able to tell if <laughs> someone's left-handed tonight, or, or right-handed. <laughs> I know her, by the way. I'm just saying. What? I, I was wondering with that Neuralink. 
<laughs> I was wondering with the Neuralink if uh, you'll be able to tell if someone's right-handed or left-handed <laughs> the way that they Neuralink. I think you can neuro. I think you can <laughs> change it in Neuralink, though, right? If you wanted to always be right-handed, you probably could do that. Like Dave could finally be right-handed if he had Neuralink. He'd be like, "I want the right-handed model, please," and they'll be like, "Wow, but you're le- doesn't matter." No. Nope. Cross wires, nope. please. Could you please cross wire? My wires are already fucking crossed. Dave, we'll be doing one of these. Very cross. Oh, come on. All right, if you want to, if you want to hang out with Dave, come over to Patreon. I'll be here for an hour. One, we got one more hour of abuse. There's there will a, not be a <laughs> twenty four hour Zoom link that you can show. ignore and not come into the show for. Oh, oh rosin dogs, you rosin fucking dogs. pussies! Actually, this link will be the same one. If you want to pop in for Patreon, you're welcome to come in there. All right. Wow, right. there you go. That's a bonus. Yep. See you in ten we just minutes. Opened it to the world. Yep. We're going to eat this mushroom chocolate right well, now. Oh, yeah. I guess we did. Huh? <laughs> you just... Well, it's Patreon. No, that's fine. Hey, if you want to come in... Uh, free free Treon. Yeah. Come for some free action. I'm a right-handed neuro But you'll be user. in the show. That's the only difference. It won't be... You won't be watching the show. You'll be right. in the show. In yeah. the show. Yeah. I love so it. So come on, hang out. Yeah, come right. hang out with come us. Kick it. And check out Guerrero Grows on... Um, every day. For eight hours a day. For eight hours a day. From the, shower, your podcast. from the shower to the bed, he's on. He's just got a little just camera over his head. Landlady blush again. What's that? I said shower? Yeah. Well, look at him. Come on. I think it's windows. <laughs> <laughs> it's, she's, her imagination is running wild right she now. She was going windows <laughs> to the walls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, man. Peace okay, out, Chris. Peace. See you guys out there and see you over on Patreon. Sweet. Some call it 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 sweet